Okay. Sorry? We're just you okay? Kind of, we're, we're on, we're, we're, the internet can watch us now. Um, so, yeah, good evening. Internet. Uh, vote. Yeah, if you're in the EU, you should go and vote. Oh, 10 o'clock. Uh, oh, okay. They close at 10. So you should, yeah. You're only allowed to watch the stream if you're in the EU, if you've been in voted. Uh, <laughs> oh, so if you haven't, you're going to have to go ahead and vote before you can come back and watch it. Yeah, Jake, we can't be limiting our numbers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah two. <laughs> Uh, We'd also have to limit the amount of people playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> uh, so it's been it's been two weeks since we played. So who would like to do a recap of what happened the last time we played? Uh, probably a slightly more in-depth one because Niall was absent and hasn't been around for the past couple of weeks. So then I think you should do the recap and you can tell us what you think happened. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. A viewer's yes. perspective. All right. Uh, <laughs> they abandoned me. <laughs> they ran away. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. kind of. Uh, it's a way of looking at it. Well, there is a way of looking at it. You guys went way up north. Uh, what for? Got a boat. Ship, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. That what, thing was the. What boat did we get? Uh, shitty walrus. <laughs> and then. You went. To the snow bit. Mm-hmm. Did something. Now we did do something. And now you're down in uh, Barcelona. So. <laughs> we made it to Barcelona. Let's get the summit. Was that right? Uh, <laughs> very, very broad terms. Yeah, that wasn't too far. I thought we were more like near the, the big ones. Uh, it's kind of, I don't know. Is the Barcelona, yes, yeah, Spain is kind of an- okay. analogous to the, the, the sort of climate, oh. I guess. Oh. I've been here, I don't know. <laughs> this kind of beat. Uh, so, does someone who is actually oh, here awesome. possibly <laughs> want to supplement Melbourne's excellent recap with some more uh, prudent information, perhaps? All the way from when Melbourne was noting, or just last session? Uh, Okay. How about just for the first thing, campaign? First thing I wrote um, <laughs> the whole session 70 was chased the crime ship. Crime ship? Gave up. Mm. Yeah. Gone to Northern Expense. We didn't actually go to the Northern no. Expense though. We went to a temple just well, below the Northern yeah. Expense. We went yeah. to the monks. So we're in the Northern Expense. Yeah. yeah. King we Billy was there. Some monks. There was a really buff one who could apparently have been. Told us to go find uh, something so he could lead us to the book. Grandmaster, yeah, that was me. That was Mr. Monk's name. Need to find Arbor Staff because that's the key to the lock or something. Then we have yeah. to go back up and say to them, like, we've got the staff, and then they'll let us figure out where the lock is. Mm. The Arbor Shalini. We need to go to some elf woods to ask. Oh, yeah, I've got a small arm in there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Just you know, some army. Just, sorry. Oh, no, no biggie. We should invade. We're selling around the coast. There are some legal fireworks being fired by their army. Just that. And then we sail down to Redcrest uh, area, a dock, a small docking village outside of Redcrest. Yeah. And what, what was the what was the pseudonym uh, Nan gave? <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Captain Drake. <laughs> Hello. Go. I am. Um, Man. What did you call the ship I again? It was like it was, uh, it was something stupid. I can't it was like like the, the angry bastard Man. or something. It was the few Manson. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was, a, that was that was pretty much what happened last week. So you guys got to Redcrest and we said you met up with Mulgrim tentatively because we wasn't sure what was happening. Uh, yeah. But yeah, basically, mulgrim has been in a state of flux. But somehow has managed to come through all the, anything she's done. She's managed to make it to you guys <laughs> in Redcrest. It would appear. It's impressive. Uh, Tank and skills are excellent. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, what are you? What is your guys' plan? What do you want to do? Shopping. Uh, shopping. Uh, Mulgrim, you need two thousand five hundred experience. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, I do. <laughs> we are laying low, guys, because um, we, we're not the most well liked here. Oh yeah. Mm. I forgot about that. So, what you're saying is, preach in the temple as opposed to on the streets. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
Did I bring my elite squadron? I don't know. Did you, who did you who did you bring of your of your uh, now rather copious amount of followers that the, the group has? <laughs> who have you brought with you? Let's start with that. Deck. 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 Yeah, he's there. Yeah, he's with me. Um, Caliban said he wanted to stick with me. Yeah, I'm not sure if he did come. Yeah, no, he can. Okay. Uh, really don't want to draw too much attention. Fuck it, just Deck and Caliban. All right, okay. The rest have been set to Make sure your boat doesn't get ship. Sure. So okay. Uh, to stay as discreet as an army can. Yep, okay. You're a gag and you're a with you. Uh, so you, you, yeah. So you've got three dragonborn, a kobold, a dwarf, a, an elf from another dimension, an elf from <laughs> just up the road. Who's <laughs> uh, <laughs> there an elf from another dimension? That's one of them. You're from another dimension? Yeah. He's an alien. Yeah, basically. Long fingers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Truth is out then. <laughs> Small groups. Sure. Yeah. But probably minimize the damage. How big was Well, did Zorgar okay. stay with the ship or did he come? No, Zorgar came with you, but he'll be he like. He has like the most pressing thing yeah. to do here. <laughs> Window shopping. I'll be with Zorgar. Okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, Zorgar is like, he's like, I'm gonna go to the temple and I'm gonna pray and I'm gonna try and get some guidance on things. That doesn't sound like Zorgar. <laughs> Yeah, that's what right. Zorgar does. It's a Zorgar thing. Yeah. 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 Me and yeah. Rurak and Zorgar yeah. going to go hang out in the church. Yeah. Me, Rurak, and Zorgar. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, Ulti is Rurak and Zorgar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So you guys are going to the church. What are the rest of you guys doing? I want to shop for magic crystals. You want to shop for magic crystals? To power the poor robot. I've completely forgotten about him. Mm. So I'm going to fix it into the bag. Oh, yeah. Is his head, like, alive? Yeah. Well, no, mm. his head is depowered. He's yes. still working. Mm. Hopefully. Yes. I'm finally going to replace my hand axes. Okay, so you're going to have axes. My... Did I lose my hand fighting skill? I think I did. Yeah, I think you lost some of your dragon fight. No. <laughs> <laughs> they have sweet prompts. <laughs> Can I have a, a observe the architecture? Uh, yeah, and the, the stone types. Yeah, and yeah, you were asking about stone last week. So yeah, yeah, most of the most of the stuff in Redcrest is uh, it's sandstone, mm -hmm. not like sandstone in the like like uh, when you're in Karen's land, that was all sandstone as well. But the sandstone mm -hmm. here is more like like Glasgow sandstone. It's kind of it's a bit more kind of it's like redder and stuff yeah. more earthy. Mm -hmm. uh, Redcrest. Exactly. Is, that like the, is there any fancy? It's like there's no marbles. There's no. They've got some marble and stuff. Yeah, that's. I mean, you'd have to go into the nicer bits of the city to find it. Yeah. Uh, but it's yeah. They like they're kind of their building block stone is kind of is sandstone in the way that like up north it's more like granite and things, mm -hmm. uh, and towards Mount Grey Thunder it's probably more like granite, right? Uh, and stuff like that. But there is definitely there is yeah there is they they've got like you know they've got they they use kind of. I'm thinking like Egyptian pyramid sort of deal. Where like you know how like the majority of me was made of something, yeah. and then the outside was made of a different sort of looked nicer. Oh sure, is that what you wanted to do? Well, just have a look and see what they got around. Yeah, uh, yeah. Mo most buildings that you've seen are just like they're just like just proper red, just, just red sandstone. All right, cool. Uh, but then some of the nicer <clears throat> like more opulent buildings, like the Aether Rail Station and stuff like that, are they're all just kind of got. They use a lot of pillars and things like that here, uh, and they have a sort of nicer veneer on it, but it looks like. You know, it smells like sandstone. The, your your dwarf stone is. I'm I'm content that it is in fact stone of sand. It's stone of sand, yeah. There you go. But they've got they put some other stuff on the top, and you're not totally sure what it is. It looks like it could be marble. It could be like limestone. You're not really sure. Uh, it's pretty though. They polished it to a nice sheen. That's nice. Yeah, that's good. Any other details you wanna? Uh, I don't know. Give us a. What is it, what's the one you you do good for stone, stone cunning? Is it stone cunning? It's history, history or something. Go for go for history. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a roll of 12. Alright. And I don't know what bonuses you get with Stone Cunning. Uh, I think you might just have advantage. I'm not sure. Proficiency in history as well. Yeah. Probably proficiency for Stone Cunning. Okay, so let's say plus 4, so it's a 16. 16. Uh. What does Stone Cunning do? As a history check. So, I am. Am I doing that? Proficient. No. no. Maybe. It's an intelligence roll. I'm going to update the origin thing. Yeah, uh, double efficiency bonus check instead okay. of your old efficiency bonus. Double efficiency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got expertise in stone yeah. history. 
So it would just be plus 8 to my... So 20. 20, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you get, you, you get like, it's most of it is nicely carved. Does it give you any, like... It's about the origins of the stone. The origins, the origins of the, stone. Like, the architecture. Uh, most of it's pretty old stone. Okay. So uh, it looks like it was dug up some time ago. It's probably quite an old city. Mm. Uh, where's the passage? I'm gonna say if you hear your your journey to the temple is oh, taking a long time. Yeah. <laughs> like, look at all this stone. Oh, what are that one? Oh, what are that one? That's a nice path. Where's Orgar? Oh. You're as bad as Zorgo whenever we come across a fish market. Yeah. <laughs> what because what fish have they got? <laughs> Cut cheese. I'm really just letting Jake go off his own right now, aren't I? Yes. Uh, the origin is... Okay, yeah, so it looks like it's, 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 it's older stone. It's like... It's, uh, it's older stone than, like, Rel is. Mm. Rel is fairly reasonably fresh stone. This is fairly old stone. Okay. And it's all sandstone. And that's about as much as you get. All right. I think it's just the origin. Old. <laughs> <laughs> it's sandstone. amazing that that sandstone has yeah. survived for so long. Yeah. Must be special. I wonder why it's special. <laughs> Go on, that's me done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Uh, have we run into Malvern yet? Yes, you met. Yeah, Malvern was like because you 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 stoned Malvern when you arrived, and Malvern was like, "I'll come and find you," and she came to me, and that was where we stopped. So there you go. You're all, I'm assuming you're all together as a group currently, right? I think we're splitting off in different directions yeah. at this point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We I definitely left as soon as we maxed out yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, stairs. Yeah, yeah. That's fine, though. No one's asked about Malbrun's time away from us. What do you think of the story of the city, Malbrun? It's nice, isn't it? It's a good sound, so it's quite old. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> you know, dwarfs, we have a certain way with the architecture. And you know dwarfs. <laughs> I don't want them. <laughs> how was how was your time away? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Right. laughs> it's nice to ask. I'm gonna go take Zorgar to the church now. I wanna go shopping. Okay, so you're taking Zorgar to the church. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So as Zorgar and Zorgar are walking away, Zorgar kind of he says, "Where are the letters from the the fortress?" They probably, they might, we should look at them. I mean, continue them going to the temple. Fairly have some idea. <laughs> Where would letters come in? Letters for the fortress. A library? I don't know. A post? No, the letters oh, from the fortress is written. Valerius is the new fortress. They send letters. He just he, did, he didn't really explain. He was just like, "Where's the where's the letter?" And he was like, "Oh, there." Yeah. Does he even keep in secret. Do you have pen pals? I don't think, <laughs> think Zorgar has friends. Was he, did he get a letter wow. to his <laughs> and assume that it was in written form? <laughs> I want to go somewhere I can collect intel on this evocation wizard. Sure. Okay. Where are you gonna go? I'm not sure. Where would wizards frequent if wizards were like a Group. <laughs> oh, you mean like where's like the wizard bar? Yeah. Probably like a library, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> library yeah, bar. library's usually pretty. No, good wizards bit. like techno. Uh, <laughs> the, yeah. The gymnasium bar. Yeah. yeah. There's like like in in Meriden where the spire is. There's obviously you know the the area around that. That's like wizard city, right? So they you know there's wizard bars and stuff there. You're not really sure where you'd find a wizard bar here, but give us a. Okay. Survival check. Uh, the wizard single bar. I'm not very wise. Like, was for wizard speed dating and stuff. Yeah, my shit. No idea. Uh, da, 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 da. Please open. Alright, 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 alright. We'll roll the dice. You're a good start. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're like, wizards like books. <laughs> Libraries, they've got books. I like books. <laughs> Libraries seem like a, a good book. Bi- I'm a wizard. I like libraries. I like books. Therefore, other wizards would probably also like books, which tallies like with my experiences with other wizards again, liking like. books. Let's go to the library. Okay, it's it's like basically library. your best bet. Alright, don't burn it down. <laughs> So we're actually not here. Or Thunderboy. Thunderpants. 
and Luna is going to the library. Muir wants to go shopping. Woo! Uh, Naren, what are you doing? Shopping for Shop- weapons. Okay. Are you going? Are you going with Muir? Uh, or are you killing off and separate, entirely separate, right? Uh, I don't know which way it's the black space. Uh, well, there's like a market district. To the market yeah, district. I'll go with you then. Are you taking your army with you? No, my army is gone in the ship. The How about your elite army small too. army? Yeah, we no, already no, no, no. I'm taking Gex and Canada. Okay. Then. And are you guys are you guys throwing around in your armor uh, with your weapons and stuff? I wouldn't go stick to Great time to be a wizard that just needs some robes. <laughs> Was there ever a thing that was decided that the Mithril armor was like... You can wear that under your shirt. Wear it under my shirt? Yeah, the breastplate, yeah. Alright, I'll wear that at least. Sure, okay. Can I, does that give me like... I'll wear... I'll not wear the rest of it. Yeah, it's like you get like 15 plus types, or 14 plus types, I don't remember. Okay. I can cast or also cast on. Oh, I'm gonna cast on Mithril. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where are you hiding your trident? Back at home. Okay. Sure, okay. I have my big cloak that goes over there. Yeah. Um, Alright. Okay, cool. Is, is, is this your winter coat? Sounds like uh, I bought another one because I had yeah, a winter coat. Okay. I bought one in, uh, where was it? Uh, there was a tailor. So I don't know. I don't remember. I remember yeah, buying you a coat with a hood specifically. Yeah, no, I remember. the first it, town we docked after Anchor? Mm. Oh, sure. Uh, it might have been. I don't know. I think it was. Maybe. That sounds right. Oh, no, I think it was the first town you got to after Karen's stand. Mm. Yeah, Fair yeah, that was it. Yeah. When we were running away, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and went and I bought hoods. I'm fairly sure we bought cloaks for everyone. With hoods. Yeah, it'd be in the style of. Make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's good. And yeah, it's, it's fitting. It's it's a thinner material. It's, it, like so, it's it's springtime here, but it, it's further south. So it's like it's still like 20 degrees of kind of ambient outside temperature. So you're pretty, you know, you're you're a bit sweaty Hot under your chainmail mm. and all that. Gek is... Gek's just got his jumper. Yeah, he, he's just <laughs> Gek. <Yeah. laughs> I don't think many people know about Gek, so that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, like, you, you see people give him like, the odd look, they're like, oh, 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 alright. Uh, but, you know, he's like... Yeah. Are we finding more people for Red Gek Tribe? No, we're, we're finding uh, new more weapons for Red Gek Tribe. Okay, yeah. <laughs> 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 Uh, so Malvern and uh, so uh, Muir and Naren are going off to the markets. Malvern, where are you shopping. going? To? Uh, I'm shopping. Yeah. Are you going shopping then? <laughs> Raffin, where are you? Doing? I am going to do my usual and go and wander around and see if I can find out anything about the book. Um, okay. Um, what's the other thing I look for? Druids. Druids, yes, druids. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and bugs. All right, I'm, I'm bugs. All right. Uh, so we'll do we'll do Muir stuff first because she's on a bit of a time limit. Uh, so give us a <laughs> who who is leading? Uh, have any of us been to Red Crest? Oh, we've all been to Red Crest before. Yeah. Right? No, we were yeah. outside. Well, yeah, Red Crest, we had a little squabble. Muir hasn't been. Everyone else has been. Because oh. you went here when you were trying to yeah. uh, unbrain dead. Anna. Oh yeah. Cool. And you did. Yeah. I'll lead the way then, so okay. I also have some Yeah, alright, it was a. It was first. That was where she got brained in. And then the priest in Marin was like, You guys need to go to this other place and get this guy Kirk. Is this the one oh, where yeah. we fought in the sewers? Yeah, it was yes. the sewers one. Oh, and this is where oh, I died. The for priest is attracted it? the Lurgy. Yeah. yeah, this is what I did. Lurgy! I didn't realize that was right. Grants Dang. Well, you know the sewer system pretty well. Yeah, you do, yeah. Yeah, you might have a map of the sewer system actually. I think yeah, people were mapping. Oh, well, the portal. Yes. No. Yeah, the portal. Yeah, the big yeah. portal. We've still got the scary spear from here. It's where Naren oh, died. We've also, we've also been in the Karim Sand did... series. Yes, you, you've been yes. in many <laughs> series. Yeah. 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 How does Naren feel having died in this city? Probably not great. Yeah. Probably not happy to be back. <laughs> uh, that was a 22. 22. Okay, so you're like... Uh, where are you? Are you going to Blacksmith first? Or are you going to Mirror's place first? Uh, I'm assuming... Do I know where both are? Not really. You're not really sure where Mir's place would be, or where a blacksmith would be. Really, you're just kind of it'd be in the market district. Uh, magic crystal power thingy revolvers for artifacts or nonsense. I okay, know. so I'm looking for the blacksmith. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need my place. Where's the homeopath shop? The homeopath shop. For crystals. Uh, 
Hang on. I'll just go to the general marketplace. The general marketplace. All right. So. Put these hidden crystals in your tea. <laughs> we get a cleric class that does that, but like the healing does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> tea to me. <laughs> uh, it's cleansing. God of cleansing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> cleansing. Uh, cleansing your aura. Uh. Okay, alright. So, uh. Chakras. Yes, yeah, so you head through the city and uh, into the market district. There's like it's signposted and stuff in those markets. Uh, it's less a market district, more like a, it's lots of stalls and stuff like that. Kind of like a traditional, like, what you would think of when you think of like an Arabic bazaar or whatever. Yeah. That's kind of what it's like. Mm, cool. uh, and you can see, you can hear, like, you can hear, like, hammering and stuff. So you follow the sound of the hammering. Uh, and you can, that leads you to a blacksmith. And then, give me a perception check. Uh, 20. 20. So the other thing you can, like, so you kind of run the corner and you're like, oh, there's a blacksmith over there. And then a little f- further past that blacksmith at, like, the corner of the two streets, there's, like, a, a like an actual building shop, which is this uh, Wise Debu's Emporium, uh, which is a name you recognize from the traveling salesman dude who sold magic hands and stuff. Oh, oh, oh yay! Uh, nice. Yes! So I, I got my stuff. I need to talk to this kid. Celestial, I'm walking right? away. Give me this key. <laughs> <laughs> I need to talk to this kid. It's really fun! Aww. I wonder if he's got any cards. Yes, that looks... Okay. Does yeah. that look promising? I'll, I'll yeah, you're like, well, well, you actually, you're in the ravine. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Does it look promising? Yeah, give us a perception check. 18! 18. You're like, well, that's a shop. It's an actual physical shop. It's an emporium. Oh, I will fill you in on who this guy is. We met randomly on the road one time. He's it sounds in, probably, I guess. Seen that you wicked can... billowing caper for Breeze House? Yeah, billowing what? <laughs> Feline to the shop. Okay. Uh, so are you going to the blacksmith? Uh, yeah, so it's just this um, kind of darker skinned chap uh, batting away. He's like, uh, kind of, oh, hello, sir. How can I help you? <laughs> uh, hello. I'm looking for a few new weapons, I am. I've lost some of mine in a pre- uh, recent battle. <laughs> <laughs> I make fences. Uh, what are you looking for? A couple of hand axes and a couple of hand tridents. Knives <laughs> <laughs> like, and forks, eh? <laughs> Uh, yeah, he has hand axes in stock. Hand tridents, he's like, uh, he, like, he has, like, one trident, he's like, I could cut the bottom off, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's still a little kind of top-heavy then. How expensive and how long would it take you to custom-make some hand tridents? Uh, how good is this guy? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> like, by hand trident, you mean actual fork? No. Yeah, I was going to say, is a hand trident... It's like a troll, right? That's like, what he wants. Not, he wants a troll. Yeah. Basically, but with three points. Yeah. <laughs> is a hand trident yeah, not the thing for... Um, there's a name for um, it, isn't it? Perfect. Yeah, Teenage Mutant Trolls. Or Psy. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. it's a Psy. Oh, oh, yeah. They're not cooler. Psy, so he might actually have literally, literally just a fork, then. But with longer handles. And all the points are equally length. Psy's are cooler. <laughs> so a trident. Yeah. Yeah. So you are a very specific customer. The hand axe is nice. Uh, they're about average quality, you know, they're like neither here nor there, really. They're about as good as your other ones are. How much for the hand axes? Uh, I need a pair. Oh, they're like Why do you need a hand axe? He's got two hands. He's got I, I start with hand axes at the beginning, and I beat the tridents for when I need to chop things. <laughs> okay. Sentimental, then. Yeah, a little bit. Good brand. Uh, it's gonna cost exactly how much it says in the book, which is, uh... Ten. <laughs> Does anyone need any pocket money? Five gold pieces. Yeah, I'll take some pocket money. Yeah, because I might be learning some spells. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take oh, two hand axes. Oh, there are no spells. <laughs> Can I get a uh, <laughs> joint discount? Eight gold for two? Give me a persuasion check. <laughs> or intimidation. Or intimidation if you're trying to intimidate him. Uh, what was it? Persuasion or intimidation? Yeah, whichever one you want to use. I think your dice is good as well. Yeah, that one is. 100%. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I will take this. What does intimidation use? When is it? No, they both use the same thing. Uh, uh, not proficient in that. Turns in what you want to do. 
Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll go with the persuasion. All right, what do you get? Nice. Thirty. What <laughs> wouldn't Naren do? He's like. Film yeah, no, apparently, yeah, apparently he is fine with eight gold. <laughs> 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 Sweet. Uh, Sweet. <laughs> yeah, and he says um, he can make your hand presents, but it's gonna be like it'll take him like a week or two. Nah, it's alright. Don't bother. Um, the other thing is, is Gex still just armed with a little knife? Yeah, he's got a stick as well. <laughs> uh, Gex, do you want a, a better weapon? Small spear, perhaps. What? What's his spear? Stick with pointy thing. On oh, it says stick knife. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or the, there's other options. Are you sure? No, stick knife is fine. Stick knife. Stick knife is good. Just get him some tape, and he's still got <laughs> Okay. Uh, any small spears for my small friend here? Uh, yeah, he's got like javelins, which are good. Yeah. Maybe like a spear protect. How, how long? I mean, how much is a javelin? That's probably about five gold no. a bill. Close the town. Uh, if you get three, two to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, javelins are yeah. He'll he'd be like he'll try to like three gold for a javelin. Okay, that's fine. So that's eleven gold yeah. altogether. Cool. I'll pay for it. A javelin. And get it. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm gonna take his. It's a useless stick, right? It's got a gird at the end of it. Oh fuck! Damn it. <laughs> that's how he. That's how he transports it. Does he have a little yeah. spotted <laughs> handkerchief that holds all it's his the, things? The gird is like the gird is the, the handkerchief, you know. Oh. It's like it's like the same sort of shape and dangles off the end of his staff. Oh, so now he has a jack one. <laughs> a bad shoulder. Um. <laughs> 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 Point at a bad people. <laughs> Specify. <laughs> what? No, no. No, don't just point it at any person. Control that means bad. Head. <laughs> if I point big three ended uh, stick me for people, then you point stick me for person. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> That's a cool base. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, now I'd like to go to the thing. Okay. Yeah, party. Go, Woo, go yeah. Visit to an old friend. Yeah. Okay. What mad shit does he have? So you, you walk in. Uh, it's sort of a weird experience going in. Like the the walls look kind of weird on the outside. There's like there's just like a a weird sheen on them. Mm. Uh, but you open the door and it kind of opens out into a smaller, like fairly dimly lit room. Uh, and there's like a kind of there's like a, a sort of a bar thing. You know, like the classic kind of countertop. And behind the countertop is just this big boulder. And then when you come in, the boulder like kind of like crunches up and it's, like, yeah. it's just like it's just this big chunky rock dude. He's about maybe about this tall, and he can't he really looks at you. Hi hey man, welcome to the shop. What can I do for you? Hi, uh, recognize the sign outside from someone I ran into on the road. Oh yeah, you met Dave. Yeah, no, Dave is not here right now. I'm sort of minding the shop for him, you know. Well, where's he at? Oh, uh, he's. I think he's gone to like Edict or something. He's away, you know, traveling the plains, you know, traveling the Starscape, man. Oh, I see. The Star. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I see. No, I don't want to. I want to keep the key. <laughs> So, what's it going to be Oh, do you have... Can you take the crystal arm? Do you have any of these? Oh, like an either force... Yeah, man, we've got loads of them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice hair, by the way. Thank you. And he kind of... He's like, starts fumbling around the shelves at the back. And like, Are you going to get the cut? This crystal my hair? Your hair. <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't recommend the haircut. She <laughs> <laughs> has your aerials, man. Absorb signals oh, from the cosmos <laughs> and pass them directly into your brain. Uh -huh. This is why hairdressers are all in the employ of wizards. <laughs> uh, Interesting. What size is don't, he? Don't let medicine. What, what it's size? Like, uh, <laughs> cord in the guy from Wings World Two. <laughs> um, have none of you seen with me? Bring it on the head and like right, something fitness suit. Okay. But hey, which size is he though? Because we've got all three. 
medium. Gladiator, yeah, okay. It seems like a safe bet because if he's dreadnought, then it would just mean he's a bit slow. Although, if he's precursor, he'll be bouncing off the fucking wall. <laughs> <laughs> but being as he doesn't have any legs, it's probably not the problem, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> brings his paracord down and puts it on the. Thank you. Uh, so that'll be 200 gold, man. <coughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> and then as he as he as, as he's kind of dealing with you, there's like this other big machine guy comes out the back of the shop, like it's like this you know like a super battle droid. Hot it's like that. It's got this big like eye in its chest, and it just kind of looks at the stone dude. And he's like, "Hey man, look, I'm dealing with the customers, okay? Don't get so uptight." <laughs> and then he disappears again. <laughs> I thought you said this shot was great. <laughs> uh, the oh yeah, man, it's the best one in the business. <laughs> Okay. You wouldn't have found it if you couldn't have fought their stock. Okay. Uh, got any in- interesting things? Oh, uh, um... Hang on, who's all here? Just you three. Okay. Well, can I be there too? That quite likes me. Yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> uh, Perfect, appears. Yeah, yeah. he's like, oh, I saw oh. you guys, sure. Uh, oh, hey man, nice to meet you. <laughs> um... <laughs> Have we got anything interesting? Uh, well, I don't know really. Uh, I've got this pot. It's like you know, it looks like a regular pot, right? It's got pot. It's it's almost in, it, you know, if you look at it, it's pretty much a regular pot. But see, if you plant something in this pot and you let it grow for like a month, then it will become awakened, man. <laughs> pretty gnarly. <laughs> I you like the sight of this to, pot. You could talk to your plants, man. Can you imagine? Pot? Oh, it's like, well, it says it says a thousand. But I do it 800 for you, because you seem nice. I, I, I feel like it might be quite a useful thing for a druid. It, yeah, can you imagine anything more riveting than a theological discussion with a rice bush? <laughs> I can't. I could grow my own friends. You can grow your own and you can talk to them. <laughs> it only works once though. Let me check my door so much money I've got. You can take some You could have part. a group. Because people are already taking out by a lot, right? Okay. Um, Where'd you get that fork, man? It's dripping with god juice. <laughs> how would you? How would? How would? I hate hundreds a wee bit deep. I, it's quite a pot. How would you feel about five hundred? Five hundred. Give me a persuasion check. What's all this? I need a dice. Oh, because it's always been dripping with well. god juice. Hold on. How can you see him okay, in this bag? Oh, it's big magic, man. You uh, see, I'm pre- I'm gonna be on. I'm I pretty blazed on ambient magic at all times. <laughs> <laughs> right now, your head is about the size of an apple, <laughs> and it feels like pixies are bowing into my gums. Uh, that's a twenty. It's a twenty. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell! It's a twenty-eight. All right, it's like, yeah, man. Like, how much do you say? Five hundred. Yeah, I can do five hundred for you, man. Here you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, don't, don't, don't grow anything weird in it. Can I ask if he knows anything about this key? Oh, the key, man. Oh, yeah. No, Dave said he found that key to you. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's a power, I don't know, really. It's got a question mark in it, so I guess, um, if you found something with a question mark, it would open it. <laughs> and you know nothing else other than that. Beyond for, for stuff. Uh, probably, there's another book I haven't got it. Oh, okay, right. then you've got, like, a part of awakening. Right, no, that's what I mean, on this beyond, is there a bit to put on there? Uh, probably, yeah. I think you can add, like, custom items or something. Raffin has pots on Sorry, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> As if he doesn't know anything else other than that, like, how they came across the key. Uh, I don't know. I think it might be from the Nine Circles, man. Um, it's kind of a bit weird. It's got bad, it's got weird vibes about it, you know? It's not like wizard magic, it's like other extra planar magic, you know? What? <laughs> Sorry, I can't be of more help. It's kind of a it's kind of a David question, and as you can see, I'm more of an elemental myself. Yeah. Do you know where? Oh yeah, he was star star. Boy, yeah, I think he's going to eat it. I don't know. Custom items. Cool. Anything else? Um, I don't. I don't know. What are you looking for, man? We've got all sorts of things. Anything particularly cool? What are you in the mo- uh, look, man? I'm not. I'm, I'm just a simple shopkeeper, man. Do you have any uh, weapons? Weapons? Oh, we've got all sorts of weapons. Now, what are you looking for? Uh, more forks? Something... Well, do you have a fork more powerful than one that was blessed by a god? Oh, no, see, man, we don't really deal with the god stuff. I don't know. I'll have to go look in the back. <laughs> <laughs> he goes away. Uh... And he comes back with this other. He's like, I've got this fork. 
Um, it's kind of it's, it's going on a trend. It's like it's uh, it's okay, you know. I mean, I don't know how good that one is. Uh, how how blessed is it, man? Uh, Can I have a look? Yeah, I'll give him a look at both Nautilus and the OSM. Far out, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this guy. I don't. Uh, he's in my brain, man. Can you take him away? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming he's meaning Nautilus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll put Nautilus back in the bag. Jesus. Oh, that's what, uh, oh, oh, I can't deal with him. You see, I don't know why you're dealing with sentient things like that. He's going to make you do all sorts of things, man. It's not very wise. Uh, I don't, I mean, it's okay, you know, it could be nicer. It's sort of a, it's a, it's a new pressing man, isn't it? It's yes. not an old one. No. no. See, well, I don't know where this one came from. Uh, it says 10,000 gold on it, though, so it must be pretty good. <coughs> what does it look like? Uh, it's like, it's just like a really ornate trident. It's all like, you know, it's like, it's, it's, it's like a like wooden half and kind of metal head, sort of standard trident and stuff. But it's like, it looks just very well crafted, it's like, like maybe sort of like an elven style. <laughs> oh yeah, mine smells like elves. So <laughs> <laughs> right, I, I hold it, see how it feels. Feels good, yeah. Feels like it would probably give you, uh... Like if you if you were if you were you know playing chance to hit someone, and you got like a fifteen, it feels like it might like you know bump it up to like a seventeen. Ooh. That is bad. It's ten thousand. <laughs> <laughs> what? Awakening. What's the just label like, say on it? Just responsible decision. <laughs> it's quite faded. Yeah, can I make one of those zeros kind of fade? No, it's like it's like ink. Shit. <laughs> What a weird yeah, man, no, don't, don't, don't try it, it's not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> See, people come in here all the time and try to do that. That's why we had to screen the shop by wealth, because we was having trouble with teenagers coming in and doing things. Let me th take it from me, man. A moody teenager is bad enough when it's not swinging a vocal sword around. <laughs> <laughs> See, 10,000 is just quite you a got vocal sword. Well, it's quite a powerful magic item, man. Is it what, what kind of magic? Is it doing good special? magic, man? I don't know. <laughs> There's so much does. around. I, I'm, look, <laughs> man, I'm, I'm just a. This, I'm an intern, man. This is a training ground. <laughs> I'm supposed to move up to Meriden soon. Go, you know, work with Tim. But I'm, you know, I'm just learning the ropes. So I don't really. I'm, I'm, I'm not a spellcaster by trade, you know. Do you have it written down anywhere if this trident was anything special? Uh, I don't know. Let me have a go and have a go and have a look. It disappears for five minutes and the big robot guy comes out and stands in front of me. Hello! Just like, what? He didn't say anything. Great. Uh, and then the elemental guy comes back and he's like, I, I piss off, man. I'm dealing with the customer. <laughs> and he goes, Rude in turn. No, look, no, he's rude. He's, I don't even know the guy's name. He never bothered to introduce himself or ask me what my name is, you know? He's from Edict, so he's a bit uptight. And then the robot guy comes back and, like, stares at me. He's like, Oh, hey, man. <laughs> look, I'm just saying, but as a being, Created to impose the cosmological laws upon the universe, you are naturally quite rules oriented. No disrespect. And the robot goes away again. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, I had to look in the back, and it says that it's like a trident of warning as well. So it like, you know, it tells you if there's other folk around and things. I don't know. It's kind of vague. <laughs> Is there a possibility we can strike a deal here? I tried you for the talking one. Uh, you said yes. you don't like the talking one. Well, Debu will want him though. I'm afraid the talking one is my friend. He's kind of talked himself into that. Someone bring one of them stones in here as well. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I could have someone brought a stone. Well, what do you know about the stones? Oh, they're big magic, man. We'd be well interested if you were looking to sell. Uh, do you have any? No, man, no. We d like I said, we don't really get involved with the god stuff, they kind of get a bit messy. How much would you well, want? Why do you want my trident then? Well, you know, that's not really... Well, it's kind of a, you know... a literal god's weapon, the most Yeah, but it's, a, it's a minor one, you know? Like, you know, see all the gods, they have like major relics. You know, like, you know, because Arisa made that one, right? Yeah. But then she also made the crown. So we wouldn't get involved with the crown. But, you know, a, a, a trident like that, you know, we could probably sell that to someone. Has yeah, Nautilus make a, heard any of this conversation? Uh, I don't know, is he in the back? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, it's probably for the best. <laughs> do you do like, uh, contracts? Can I pay monthly for this trident? 
Oh, see, I don't know. You might have to go to speak to Tim about that in Meriden. I'm sort of new here, so you know, I'm still, I've got my next batch of training is next week. <laughs> uh, what's the cheapest you could do this training for me? Well, I don't know. It's been here for a while. I don't know if I don't. Um... Not many people like tridents nowadays. That is very true, man. We are not in the heyday of the sailor anymore. Um, I'm probably nine thousand. This seems nice. That's a whole thousand off. That's quite generous. <laughs> <laughs> it's ninety thousand gold. Have you got any other big magic? Um, could do a trade for you, man. We have those things that we're not using at all. Was it spider like a... staff? Oh yeah. yeah. What do you think of a spider, spider staff? staff? I got this evil What's thing. What's a spider staff? Was that when no, I was doing that as evil? Oh, oh, I don't know, man. Ages ago, like, um, we kind of just shoved it in the bag and forgot about it. I'm gonna pick that. <laughs> oh, this is all elves, man. Riddled with elves. No, it's like you can cast it a oh, right, right, right. I don't know, it's not I very powerful, man. Because, yeah. you know, the spells have to be on your wrist, anyways. <laughs> uh, how about this evil spear? Oh, uh, no, that's the. Wait, see, we don't deal with God stuff, but we definitely do not deal with the demon stuff either. Oh! Gee, what's what's going the spear we got from the portal dude? Alright, we're just going to do Yeah, but it, like, uh, we <laughs> looked at it and it was almost hilariously easy to think about. We have a spear from. Whoa! It was kind of the same. 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 Do we have any more I mean, you know, sometimes Zebu does, but I'm not really authorised to do stuff with demons because last in time, but did that well, he's not longer here anymore. Oh, Zebu. He's, 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 just he's sort man. of dead now. How much money are you. Just, I'm not saying we're going to sell it to you, but I'm just curious how much money the stones go for. Are you the like stones? Oh, the stones are expensive, man, because it's only 15. Yeah, but how, how expensive? It depends if it's a good one or not. What's a good one? Well, you know, there's the. <laughs> See, we rank magic items on a level of rarity, so you get common magic items, yeah. uncommon magic okay, items, there's only rare 15 magic items. The pay rare. <laughs> yeah, but not all of them are the same rarity, man. Okay, you know, it's just the same a hypothetically level. one that you don't have to eat. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't have to eat it already because I'm, you know, I'm an elemental, man. I'm from <laughs> the Maelstrom. What kind of elemental is it? Rock. Rock. What do you think of this belt? Sandstone. The belt. Oh, that's quite a nice belt, man. Can I try it on? Take it off, yeah. He's <laughs> 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 like coming to the East Black in Spain. Oh, uh, why do you want to try it on? Just to see how good it is, man. Because okay. I don't know what type it is. It's a belt with hill giant strength. Oh, you know already? Yeah, I'm fully aware. Well, see, see, that's what we would call an uncommon magic item. So they're not, not quite as expensive, you know? We probably buy that for like three or five five thousand gold. Because we have to make a profit on it, you know. And that's it's a business. Uncommon. Yeah. It's a it's a logarithmic scale, man. Mm. So you know, the higher the rarity, the higher the price. But so like it's very steep, you know. Very rare. It's a uh, rare one. Do you see the difference between uncommon and rare? Mm. There's a big difference. Oh then. yeah, it's about seven thousand gold. How much would buy massively gold trading to go for being one of a kind? Which one? Not us. Oh, that one, I see, oh, see that, that's, that one's kind of an artifact, man. So that's kind of, that's the next stage above the rarities. So you get, so like I said, you get common magic items, uncommon magic items, rare magic items, very rare magic items. You get legendary magic items, and then you get artifacts. So that's what you've got there. So, like so, oh yeah, quite a lot. We could probably set you up with your own demi plane, man. My own demi plane. Feel before ever a discerning individual like yourself might want a demi plane to be filled with, man. That's pretty cool. Looks like I'm leaving the party, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. But it depends if he was, you know, is is he a troublemaker? No, no, he's quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, very friendly. I mean, you know, artifact. Sales is something I have to kind of do through the table, so I'd have to like I mean, give you an appointment with the run. Yeah, it's when he's just back. all theoretical. Unfortunately, I can't sell them. Oh, okay. So say we it's actually got the If you change your mind, we'll be here. Okay, um, and if that trident completely loses value because you never sell it, please let me know. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> uh, how much do you want for the spider staff? The spider staff, oh uh, man. Uh, we just want to get rid of this, to be honest. I'll give you like 800 gold, man. Oh, yeah, sure. 
Okay. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, hard to link. <laughs> he has to make a profit on that too, so it's probably worth at least like fifteen hundred. We try to sell it for, you know, yeah. Yeah. What brings you guys to the city? Oh yeah, here's the money for this. Oh, thank you, man. I was gonna ask about that. Time <laughs> 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 Uh, what brings Business. us to the city? Yeah, oh, we've yeah. got um, a few people to meet up with. Yeah. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Shopping. Shopping. Oh, well, you're in the right place, my friend. Yeah. yeah. Shopping. I'm Grant, by the way. Oh, nice to meet you. See, it's funny because it's humorous because I'm a rock elemental. And granite is a type of rock, and granite is just a you know, natural evolution of the name. It helps a layman <laughs> to relate to an alien and earthen being like myself. Yes. It's a pun of sorts, man, if that wasn't clear. <laughs> right. uh. What kind of rarity is this Arcus Stone? Arcus Stone of Protection. I'm gonna need my dungeon. I'm gonna need my dungeon master guide, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I really want that fucking trident. I want to steal it. Just give my weapon. I don't want to steal from Celestial Shop. Oh, yeah, man, no stealing is not allowed. Uh, is it not? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want the big guy to hunt you down? The, the Arisen is worth fuck all, right? They're, they're just blessed by the god. Uh, yeah, but we we would class that as an uncommon magic item, man. We'd probably give you a few thousand gold for it. I mean, considering you got 1,000 off of the nine. Yeah. Down to nine, a few thousand off is seven thousand. Oh yeah, yeah man, see, this is a rare after stone yeah. according to the guide here, mm. uh, which says yeah. that... I'm sure you have a lot on your... If I cross-reference that with the, the maps um, over here, five, right? we'd probably give you about five or six thousand gold for that, man. So do you have a list of the other stones? Oh yeah, I've got the whole lot. What are they? <laughs> well, you get ones of absorption, of identity, of awareness, of fortitude, of greater absorption, that's even nicer. Uh, insight, intellect, strength, sustenance, so you've already got that one. How have you got two already? Well, um, Where'd you get them? Wine travellers. Oh, like they do? Yeah. Do you guys go around the plains as well? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, which plains have you been to, man? A couple. Yeah, but which ones, though? There's a lot, man. <laughs> the evergreen ones. Oh, yeah, that's nice. A friend over there is from the Netherglow. Yeah, no, I pecked her when she came in. Mm-hmm. Checked the senses like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been to this one, I've been to the Hemorrhage one. Uh, it has a name that I haven't decided yet. Uh, oh, that one, man. Uh, yeah. That's pretty gnarly. What is it going to tell him that you died to get in there? How'd you get there, man? I <laughs> <laughs> uh, got murdered. Just a tough pill, man. <laughs> two, two meters down. Doesn't seem to have stopped you that much, though. No, no, I'm, I'm very determined. Clearly. <laughs> um. Who are you guys meeting? Anyone fun? Anyone exciting? Anyone I'm yeah. them? I'm just gonna try to activate this the, friend. What's the name oh, of yeah, the man. wizard we're looking for? Oh, yeah, man. He's seen better days, hasn't he? Yeah. Mm, I, yeah. I, Do you I want mean, a box for him? Maybe. I mean, I mean. <laughs> oh, what kind of box? I think it is Idina. I've got them in also, yeah, wood, uh, wood boxes, and stone boxes, metal boxes. I I metal boxes. Metal boxes. Alright. Do you know what? What about this one? And he brings it, it's like, it's actually a glass box. He's like, yeah. See, this is a, it's a magical box. But it's so it's like a regular box, but if you look from the inside, it's like everything is underwater. It was made by a wizard to investigate if fish respiration is a placebo effect. It's not. <laughs> 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 I could give you that if you'd like to, you know, what give him a prank, man. I think the poor guy has been through enough. Yeah, Thank probably. You for your recommendation. He's missing a lot. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. How much is it? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've just been around. 500? No, sorry. Okay. That's a good uh, joke. Do you happen to know a wizard named Ivina? Oh, yeah, man. She's the court wizard, yeah. She's nice. She's quite nice, yeah. I don't, see, I don't really get I'm not allowed to leave. Oh. You're not allowed to leave? Yeah, no, we're contracted workers, man. Oh. So crazy. Did I get bored? Internship. Oh, no, it's quite good. You know, time works a little differently. So I don't really, you know, and I'm pretty blazed most of the time. Like <laughs> that, so I don't really worry about it that much. Can I check him with one of his stones to make noises? Whoa, man, that's cool. Makes a cow. 
<laughs> That's one that I don't know what that is. <laughs> yeah, it's actually very rare. Is it rare? Really? It's, it's an artifact. <laughs> it's not on the list. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, I, I don't actually know. I don't own it. What's it called? <laughs> it's a. Uh, <laughs> it's a. Uh, um, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh... Please hurry up. Sandstone! <laughs> A sandstone. See, that's not on the list of artifacts, man. Really? Do you have a list of every single artifact? Ever most ever of them, yeah. The documented ones. See how you said most in there. <laughs> oh yeah, but it's if if see, see now if it was on the material plane, we'd know about it. You yeah, know? it wasn't on this plane. Like we said, we're plane travelers. Yeah, but it came back. We we have ways, you know. We found these things out. Mm, I see. You're gonna get this guy fired. Like, I want to be hunted by Celestia. <laughs> Oh, you don't want to be hunted by a celestial man? Stop saying things like <laughs> that. Oh, the other guy. You know, the big guy. Oh. Do you have any he, bags of holding? No. Oh, yeah, bags of holding. Yeah, we've got one, yeah. How much? Uh, 3,000 gold. The name always confused me with that, because all bags are bags of holding. Because <laughs> they are designed to hold things. I actually what? don't know if you ever thought about that, man. Bags of holding. I mean, oh, I'm not here. They're coming from me. Well, uh, I... If you guys got everything you need. I would like to nip out back in and activate the guy's head. Is it just ram it in or? Uh, you gotta like connect up with like some and stuff. Right. Okay, so you're, you're just heading out to do that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you got a motion? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh. So, you just steps out briefly. Uh, and you plug the, the, the head in. Hang on. Do you still have those, um, thingy move it skews? Oh! Yeah, sure. How much? Oh, I don't know what that is, but... You guys want milk? Mm. I was thinking, oh, I, I totally need to get milk. Yeah. Um, well, I don't need to some of that. You get milk, <laughs> lots of it. Uh, so you wanna... Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so you... Right. you give me an arcana check. 29. 29, yeah, okay. You, like, oh, you're like, oh, cool, I just fired something like that, and then, it, you know, uh, there's like a... Like a, the eyes kind of flicker. It goes, attention, unexpected shutdown. Diagnostic tool engaged, running. Warning, 389 errors detected. <laughs> 42 critical component malfunctions. Stepper motors, absent. Chance spinner, absent. Primary timing crystal, absent. Secondary timing crystal, present. Visual scanners, present. Long term memory bank, present. Short term memory bank, wiped. 38 additional critical component malfunctions. Five most likely suspected causes. Death of unit, evisceration of unit, melting of unit, disintegration of unit, reintegration of unit. <laughs> Initiating isolated initialization of functioning systems. And then it's like, you know, the eyes kind of go black and then there's like a little like pinprick of light and then it's like the artificer logo starts spinning <laughs> really slowly, like a splash screen, and it disappears. And then the, the eyes kind of flash up again. It's like... Hello. Hi, I'm Ward, captain of the guard here in- hang on. Where am I? Uh, you're in Red Where am my friend. Hi. Who are you? Hi, I'm Muir. Right. Nice to meet you, Muir. I would shake your hand, but I don't have any. <laughs> Is that my hand? No, that's me. That's mine. Are you sure? Very sure. Are you really sure? <laughs> that's a lot like mine. How can you be sure? Have you nicked my arm? <laughs> no. Are you sure? I think you promise. <laughs> Am I a joke? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? You were killed by a dragon. I was gonna break this up a bit nicer than that, but yes. Oh. <laughs> I thought you killed the dragon. You know the guys that killed the dragon? Yeah, there was, there was another dragon, it turns out. Two dragons. Two dragons, wow. We left the other one swooped in, destroyed your village. And you remember I had the arm at that point. I didn't make you men. You're not in my memory bank. Mm -hmm. uh, we were uh, Protection box. What for? Uh, uh, but are you place. sad about this? You don't seem massively torn up. I'm, <laughs> I'm still processing. Oh. Uh, there was one survivor there. O only one? Yeah. So everyone else is dead? That's one more than none. Yeah. That information was unclear. Now I'm now I'm upset. Ah. Okay. <laughs> We're <Whoops>. bad at this. 
Um, but yeah, I powered you back up. I don't know what you want to do. Um, we got the body. Well, you know, my primary function was to protect Kilmore, so I suppose if Kilmore is gone, then who is the sole survivor? I guess my job is to protect her now. Or, um, She's on the other side of the continent, so. Okay, I guess my job is to avenge her death oh, by killing the dragon. She's <laughs> <laughs> avenge everyone else's death, I'm sorry, my, you know. Uh, he kind of bugs out sometimes, he's like, avenge, aven aven avenge her death. Wanna come with us? We're probably gonna go kill at some point. The dragon will Miss, right now it doesn't seem like I have much choice, yeah. given that I don't have any legs. I mean, if you wanted <laughs> to be put somewhere, I would happily put you somewhere. But then uh, uh, the legs are still a problem. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I mean, if you went to go kill the dragon by yourself, you'd get ripped apart the same as you did the first time. But I'm not dead, am I? <laughs> not this time. Oh, oh, I know. Got a little turret guy, right? Um, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Spider legs. Yeah. Could I, like, put him on top of it? <laughs> You know, you know um, yeah. Borderlands 3 with the gun with legs? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I could give you a little. You, could, you won't be super powerful, but you could. You could spider could tell her me. about. Well, legs are useful, so, you know, any legs are better than no legs. Mathematically, eight legs are much better than two. Yes, they are. So, you know. Right. Um, right. Sounds good to me. I will start thinking legs. about how to do that, then. Okay. No. You should get extra legs. Mm. No. We should all get extra legs. <laughs> Math says yes. Thanks. Groovy. Okay. What happens now? Uh, I don't know. Mirror's gonna kind of fade into another dimension. So. Okay, you win. Alright, so Mira's just lost deep in thought. <laughs> Did you guys do that in the shop? I think you said you went outside. Really? Right? Yeah. Or do you want to do it inside? Um, I want to stay inside because that sounds more fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the, the ground's like, oh wow, that. You guys killed a dragon? Yeah. Oh, hang on, that's not twice. <laughs> you guys killed a dragon? <laughs> yeah, we did. They're very similar. Very difficult with the weakened dragon. Oh yeah, man, see if you had this one, it would have been way easier. Yeah, well, Although dragons fly, so I don't know how you would do it. How did you deal with that? Uh, you can throw dragons. <laughs> that, that you can, my friend, that you can. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you mean uh, cult wizards for, man? Uh, I, I don't know, to be honest. It's oh. my friend who wants to meet. Alright, oh, okay. Oop. Oh, you're away, man. Bye. Bye. <laughs> see you next time. Anything else I can help you guys with, man? No, that's uh -huh. all we need for uh, if that dragon Bye. does become this kind of thing. Bye, see you later. Bye. Do you have such a thing as a Camberwill carrot? I can check the records, man. Yeah. Goes away. <laughs> and then, like, five minutes later, and, like, the you know, big robot guy comes out and stands and watches you all. And he comes back, like, hey, man, come on. Mm -mm. Be seated. Uh, <laughs> And he comes back and he's like, uh, no man, we see we had one but then it got sold, I don't know. Fair enough. I think Tim did it. Well, I see the middle one. <laughs> yeah man, if you got the seeds, yeah, they'd be awakened so you could talk to them, be pretty gnarly. <laughs> that would be pretty gnarly. <laughs> Just so I can consider it, how much would you offer me for the blessed striker? Um, See, there's the sort of thing I might. I'll, I'll probably have to speak to Tim about it when I see him later for dinner. How many dragons do the boy need? Um, four. Four. I reckon, man. I reckon, cause it's an. See, cause it on the grading scale, it's an uncommon magic item. So I reckon probably between two and five thousand gold. Oh, that's right. Okay. Barking nice to know. Yeah, man. We'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Bye bye. Bye. Have fun, Grand. I will, yeah. You too, man. <laughs> Hope the wizard's nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> man, you was all up in my business when I was dealing with the customers. That's not very really cool. <laughs> yeah, close the door. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we... Are we going straight to deal with the wizard, or should we find him for the night? I'm going to the library to try and find information. Okay. Yes, we haven't even, haven't yeah. even dealt with everyone else yet. <laughs> uh, so Rurak and, and Zorga are going to the okay. temple. Yep. Uh, so yeah, a pr uh, pretty big temple in Rankrest. Uh, it deals mo mainly with 
Uh, Atar is quite quite prominent there because yeah. it's landlocked. Arissa doesn't really get Van Raid. Uh, close to Grand Chase Thunder, so Alti is actually in. There's a priest with Alti right here. Cool. Uh, and then there's the usual other kind of like harvest, winter, mm. summer sort of stuff. Uh, so you head in and there's just kind of, there's preacher, there's very, it's quite a big church. Mm. So there's priests having various different sermons around the place. Uh, what are you guys here for? So okay. I'll just go away and go. I guess you'll pray. Yeah. I'll just do, just do a little, yeah. Okay, um, sir, what's it called? Uh, are you preach? Preach. preach? preach. That's the word. Okay, sure. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for yeah, a little preach. To what's that thing that I do again? Yeah, you should probably, yeah, hmm? um, go up to the... Priest yeah, I'll see if there's an Altice Priest there. Altine Priest. Uh, is there? Uh, not right now. Is there a High Priest here? Uh, yeah, there is, yeah. Uh, him. He's about... Uh, what, what God's he for? He, he has the symbol of Oryx. Oryx. And uh, the Sun God. Okay. He's like... Praise the Sun. Yeah, he's like... Hello. Greetings. Uh... I am an, uh... Follower of Altius, and I was wondering if I, I could. Heard about you. you have? Mm, yes. Oh, what have, uh, what have you heard? I, well, was it not you that dropped the, the, the young man back in the arena those months ago? Yes, yes, yes. yes. You guys write these words, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, yes, we, yes. Uh, what, what can I do for you? Um, I was just hoping to maybe preach here, if that was all right with yourself. Uh, <laughs> uh, he kind of he kind of hums and haws. He's like, <laughs> so you see, I I'm uh, hoping to make my way to Great Mount Grey Thunder in the next few months and start rebuilding the temple. And I thought maybe to rekindle the, maybe a small following. Well, perhaps. In, in my God's so, name. Yes, if you keep it short, I can give you a sort of a 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Will that be sufficient? That would be yeah. a good thing. Thank you very much. Yeah. There's a, well, I mean, uh, Emir is not here right now. So what, what is your name, good sir? Uh, where's my list of names? Google Drive for notes is <laughs> shit. <laughs> can I write your name? Is, my name is Father Badri. Father Badri. Nice to meet nice you. To meet I am Rurak Donvor. Okay, uh, Father Bardley. Bardley? Is that right? Bardley. Uh, Badry. 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 Oh, thank you for being so accommodating. Oh, you're most welcome, my child. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'll go ahead and preach. Sure, okay. And I get to the performance. Okay. Performance. Wisdom and do I get my like I just get the normal questions here with this, don't I? Uh yeah, but use your wisdom for performance. Okay. Uh it'd be nineteen. Nineteen. Uh yeah, you know, a couple of people peel off and then like you know, they listen to you. What do you, is there a specific topic you preach about or anything? Um Yeah, um I'll I'm just gonna go for Mount Great Thunder. Oh, sure. So you know, in the in the next coming months the that will be rebuilt and Right. Uh, as form of glory in the future. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you, you, you kind of you get a, a, about twenty and thirty people that kind of sit there and they kind of uh, fluctuate as people go in. Mm. Uh, but you know, when you finish, people are like, oh, yeah, my great friend, right? that sounds interesting. Yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe we should go. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I've got work done. <laughs> 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 and you're like, yeah, successful, successful preaching. All right. I'm I'm content with that. Have you thought of the logistics of rebuilding a temple? Like, no, because you're going to hire the builders. I have no idea because I don't know the state of it. <laughs> I, I, yeah, this is a, a whole thing I need to put effort into. I don't know yet. One remaining pillar. Hmm. Probably. Uh, and then, as you finish, one guy comes up to you. He says, uh, "How how how do you plan to deal with the false god?" The false god. Hmm. I have not heard of the false god. The one. Well, you know, the, is, is a, is he, hang on, phone him, 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 phone him,
I believed all saints to live at the top of the mountain. And it was discovered that he did. And then we thought he didn't. And I don't know why. I thought there was a false god there. So. There's an only man at the top of the mountain. <laughs> who claims to be a god? Well, that's the story, yeah. And he claims to be Altius. Yeah. Well, no, we ascribe, I think, the, you know, people there ascribe that to him, and he sort of. Do you know himself. anything of. Well, his, you know, he said he's God. He said he's God. He's, 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 you know, he's not a man, he's an imposing figure. Does he have a physical being? Oh, yes. For the, the stories are to be believed. What is his physical being? Well, he stands a thousand feet tall and <laughs> throws lightning bolts. <laughs> you know, like a god. Oh, He's got a pretty mad beard, this guy. He's an older chap. Tell you what. So you sing a few stories. Why don't you? Why don't we? Why don't you fill me in on all all, all this? Because so you don't know. I thought you were a priest. Well, I mean, I only have the. I'm not running these parts much. Oh right, okay. Well, uh, yes, you know. Well, the stories I heard when I was a, when I was a young boy uh, was, the, you know, the dwarves left the mountain, mm-hmm. the dwarves that became the hill dwarves, and then travelled south to Mount Grey Thunder, mm-hmm. where they could have refuge from the storms, and then Altius himself came down and lived at the top of the mountain and bequeathed the the citizens with with aid, and, you know. All the things that gods do. Right. And then there was evidently some. I don't know. That I, I, you know, my mother told me that there's some sort of misunderstanding, and he wasn't really Altius, but he never left. Mm. That was a, that was a long time ago. I, don't know if that's true. I think I have a lot of thinking to do now, and research apparently. But you know, the it sounds like an interesting initiative. I'll be sure to come and have a look. Once I, you know, once you're sure, there's no small spots. All right. Well, uh, I'll hope to see you at the mountain someday. Oh yes, I'm very, very capable of woodworking, <laughs> stone, stone carving. I'll see you then. I can't. Bye, I I'll trust I'll see you. <laughs> bye. Bye bye. Uh, yeah, and Zorgar is just he's away praying. That's fine. Wait. Come on. Zorgar. Don't want to go. You want to go? Let, let me stay here a little longer. Just leave him to pray. You want to you pray here? Yeah, I'm immediately in there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't pray for the other kids, okay? Bye. What? Why do you the other kids? Uh, and then are you going to the library? Yes. Okay. Uh, give us a survival check. See if you can surviving. Uh, nine! Well, it's pretty, it's pretty well fine for the person. Okay. Uh, so yeah, your wizard knows sniffs your way to the library. I smell uh, old books. Inks. <laughs> uh, it's a pretty... It's a large library. It's larger than the one in Rail. But it's not, you know, you've been in bigger libraries before. It's not as big as anything in this park. Uh, it's on like three floors. Uh, and you know, there's the there's like librarians bustling around dealing with shelves and kind of you know dusting books off and stuff like that. Uh, and then there's you know people going around like, hey, do you have anything on? The...? And they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> or, yes. Uh, and uh, like as you're kind of coming into the library, you can see like in the kind of topmost floor, there seems to be some people in like robes and stuff like that, kind of going past the windows and things. You catch. So I have like one person in green robes. Oh, um, give chase up the stairs. So okay. Find them. Uh, yeah, there's like two or three kind of robed folks around here, kind of reading all separately, uh, and it's it's like one of those silent floors, so it's like. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, one of the librarians like shh, she can't go up the stairs, uh, and they're all kind of just engrossed in their own books. I'll okay a little bit of. Parchment out and write down a little look. Is that right? Hey, lady, are you Ivina? Dear BBC, no. why, um, why, why are you looking to find out here? Just information about Ivina and what she's been up to. <clears throat> all I got told is that she's questionable. 
Or a diamond brick. She's crashing. And she's doing something. I'm trying to figure out what. Before yeah. I, we go her. and like be like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> mm. Um. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, hold on. Uh, or, wait, I should break it all fancy. Feel free to do something else right now. Uh, probably go into the library to try and find some info on oh, sure. that okay. god. Yeah, so let us upstairs kind of, and there's kind of heavy footfalls downstairs as Rurette comes in. Uh, Can I go move the stuff on the book? Oh, the staff, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want to move the stuff on the book. Like everyone in the library turns up. Oh, sorry! Where's the... <laughs> Where's the lady? Or the person, the receptionist? Uh, there's, there's someone coming over like Yes, mm -hmm. I'm uh, looking yeah. for a book. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, we have a <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> it's on Mount Grey Thunder. Ah, uh, yes, God. The religion section. <laughs> Where might I find that? The pulse. I'll take you there, shall I? Yes. She kind of leads you. She's like she she look, it looks as if she's like going to like lead you by the hand first and she's like hang on he's an adult. <laughs> she kinda of bustles through the Well that's a nice book. Okay. Yeah, and she kinda of leads you into the religion section and then you know there's a lot on like you know there's like a big like Valarius section and Oryx and Arya and all these things. Oh, I know big someone that follows that god. Uh, and then you know the the Altheus section is comparatively quite small. And uh, okay. she's like well uh, Oh, I need a big cat with me there. Do I? No. Thank you. You too. <laughs> 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 yeah, you're like. Yeah, so you're like. It's like just out of reach. Like, like you could get it, and then you you have to jump for it, and you kind of land a little heavy, and everything like, like the the books kind of shake a bit, and then it's like. And you go back to read. Got it. Alright, read. Sure, you can read. Okay. Uh, you can maybe fill me later. Yes, I will. Smell you later. Uh, where are the rest of you You're going to the library as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you arrive sometime. I think you probably you probably arrived before. You arrived slightly after Varek. Okay. So the the, the, the damage atmosphere, is done. The atmosphere in the library is tense. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you, you kind of, no one, no one kind of gives you, like, people like look at you when you come in, but they, they just go back to reading their books. Uh, and there's librarians bustling around and you know, doing librarian things, you know, alphabetizing books and things like that. Right. Can I see one of them and see where I might go to find information on this stuff? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to research. Barber stuff. Barber stuff, stuff, stuff Barber. Oh, I thought there would be a problem. What does a druid say to you? Oh, there's a light. Raven! <laughs> Is that you? Do you know that, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Raven! <laughs> 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 Is there been development where Rurak has become severely mentally challenged? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ever since we went to Mar and discovered the idea. Well, I just chat. noticed that he has very little there's intelligence. There's dry chat, and there's like. <laughs> he has very little intelligence an and it's very little thing. charisma. So he's, he's charisma just... is probably the thing. Yeah. Yeah, like, like Rurak, because Rurak has a high wisdom, he knows better than to do that stuff, but his charisma, like, he tries to do it in a subtle way, but his charisma lets him down. He's one of those people that has a really loud voice, but they don't realize. Yeah. He's a good character for me. <laughs> I suppose you might, you might be a bit deaf for all that hammering. When That's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if, you're, if you're hammering for a hundred years, you know, you know. do some damage. Oh, yeah. years. hundred years. Man and Since boy, I was uh, a baby. <laughs> Man and boy, a hammer to steal. Right. 
It's nice and quiet in here. <laughs> The public is, isn't it? We're always the end. Oh. I mean, did, why do you want to be discreet? I don't tend to like us in this region of the continent. We paid our debt. Doesn't mean people have to like us because of it. Doesn't mean you have to like them back. Why do you care if people like you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine, we'll go to the end. Do you want to come to the end? Do you have other things to do here? Once could we stay in a bed for breakfast? <laughs> or a hotel? What is this? In, in, in with you. All uh, the time. She Howard is the a, probably a fairly young, uh, like she's like 18 or 19, like young adult sort of, a, uh, and she's got red hair, uh, and she's wearing blue look. Okay. Uh, human? Human, yeah. And she's reading uh, like the driest thing ever. It's mm. like, you know, she's reading like, you know, It, it, she's reading like you know, like the equivalent of like Arcane Economics 301, sort of like you know the the economy of spell casting, uh, how to maximize your arcane efforts. Like you've read it, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Does she, she looks like she's enjoying it, or is she? Like... She's taking notes. Okay. Okay. Uh, and she, you know, she's got like she's she's got like a really nice bookmark and stuff as well. Like she's, you know, she's not one of these like page turner over and focus. Uh, yeah. Uh, wait patiently. Yeah, she's finish. like. Yeah, so she could finish the chapter she's on before. <laughs> takes about fifteen minutes to finish the chapter. Okay. Uh, and then she's like. Hmm? She's saying you lead the way. Okay, I go <laughs> walk down somewhere where we can talk openly. Yeah, sure, so it's basically just outside the way. Yeah. Uh, she's like, oh, hello. 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 Sorry about that. I'm, you know, you? I've got a class. So I just, uh, I've got to write an essay on that particular chapter. So. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I've read it. <laughs> it's, oh, it's, um, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, um, you know, I mean, it's a bit dry in places, but it's, you know. Um, so... To get to the chase so I don't keep you from your work. Um, do you know, so do you know of the court wizard? Yes, she actually, she, she teaches my class. Okay, but what does she teach? Uh, well, she, she teaches a basic sort of introduction to the education magic. Um, I had her for that in the first year. Uh, and now she's taking a sort of intermediate you know, education magic too. Is what I learned now. Um, okay. Uh, yes. Have you noticed any changes in her behavior lately, or...? No, she's just like the friendliest person ever. Okay. Uh... What's this all about? I, 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 uh, <laughs> I just wanted to know more about her, and... I, she's also a new vocation wizard, I'm a new vocation wizard. Mm, yes. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what else to ask. Cause it seems to not really know what I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> I had questions, but then I. But do you know what she is? She trying to create any new spells currently? Is she? Well, she's you know she focuses on fire magic quite a lot. Um. So, I don't know, I think she's, I mean, she's always conducting her own research, but obviously as the court wizard she has other business, and also as a teacher she probably doesn't have that much time for her own study, but I'm not really sure. Okay. Um, um, do you know where I would be able to meet her? Uh, well, you know, she's up at the keep, uh, you know, in the centre of the city, she's, you know, that's where her sort of office is. Uh, 
but I could I could give you the address for I've got a class this evening with them okay. uh, in another part of town. I could I could give you the address for that. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, I will take that happily. Uh, uh, Trishka will send the address. Yeah. Address. <laughs> yeah, you have the address. Um, what did the spire people tell me? Apart from the fact that she was just questionable, they just basically said they were, she was questionable and they wanted to investigate more. They, they basically they said they believed she has ulterior motive, motives than okay. you know being in court. Uh, where's the? Uh, I've got friend of It's just. Doesn't want to be a wizard anymore. I got the feeling she was working for the bishop, wasn't it? Mm. Working for the bishop. Yeah, they, they said she may not be all she appears and may in fact have entirely other motivations, is what they said. Uh, but they were, you know, classic cryptic wizards. Yeah, okay. So all I'm getting from this girl is that she's a great friendly teacher and she's... Oh yeah, she's, she's really, really smiling, you know, very friendly. Mm. She loves a good joke. What kind of jokes? Oh, a- any jokes, you know. Okay. Any jokes. <laughs> knock knock jokes. And, you know, a, a, a relic in Eastern and Nanothorian walks into a bar, those sort of jokes, they're great. Uh, she loves them. Uh, well, I don't know what other sort of jokes you get. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, okay. Um, wizard jokes, she particularly loves magic. Oh, yeah, who doesn't love wizard jokes? Uh, 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 <laughs> practical jokes okay. as well. <laughs> you know, what, I I think okay. I think that's all I really need to know. Unless there's anything, if you know anything about her work of note that you would like to tell me. Uh. Yes, you can go back to magic economics. <laughs> oh wait, what was your name? Uh, she didn't give you a name. Okay. Never mind. Don't mind. Okay. <clears throat> Correct. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Please keep your voice oh, down. These people are so <laughs> naggy. Okay. We got here. I already found my book, I've read it all. You've read it all? Whole, whole right, thing. Well, that's 15 minutes. That's You've the read it all. whole thing. All I need is, I skimmed it. Clutch <laughs> 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 <Class> notes. <laughs> <laughs> I got everything I needed to know. Okay. Um, Let's go. Graffin, are you still in the library as well? Yes, did I find out? Uh, give me a... Give me a... Probably a nature check. A nature check. I might stay here for a while. Oh, okay. Plus, how do you want to stay here? Just leave. They keep telling you to shut up. Okay. Uh, that's a ten, but it's a natural one. Well, if it's an okay. interesting you find thing, people need to know. They have druid books, uh, but it's a lot of kind of... It's more like stories about druids ah, right. and things like that. Uh, but you might be able to take some of them out and have a read through and see if there's anything that mentions yeah, it. Yes. But it's not like a book on the staff yeah, or where it is sure. or anything like that. Sure. It's more like history of the druids and things like that. You Can I stay and do a wee bit of research then? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll do that. Unless... I'll say that. Are you guys away? Mm. No, not yet. Right, I'll, I'm going to stay and do a bit of research. Yeah, I want to learn a new spell, I think, which can take me like five hours to do. It's not um, I'm trying to get Patrick to do Legend Lore on that stage. Oh, sure, okay. Because I don't want to learn his lore because he already has it. Yeah. Well, but more so than other things. Well, uh, now in a moment, where are you guys up to? 
uh, going to I need a few things. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> yes. As discreetly as possible, so keeping an eye out for syndicate members. Right. Are you going to a new inn or the inn you stayed at last time? Maybe later. A new inn. A new inn. Okay. New is always inn. better. New inn. New inn. Oh, wait. Was this the place with the Drake? No, that was no, the that was, Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, new inn. You're in. Uh, okay. You're the Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Drake. <laughs> I need to come up with a better name. <laughs> uh, okay, give me a survival check. Oh, wait. Uh, assist me in it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to learn 21. this spell. <laughs> Immolation. For five hours. And okay. It costs 125 gold pieces. Alright. You're doing that. Oh, the 21, Jay. Yeah, you find there's a, there's a good few inns. Are you, what sort of inn are you looking for? One that doesn't look right in the city. <laughs> okay, so kind of a middle class inn, yeah. but not like a too nice inn. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, yes, yeah, so you you find it. You find an appropriate inn. It's called the Red Crest Flagon. Red Crest Flagon. Okay. Which in the name? Yeah, and you head in. Uh, there is a. Halfling behind the bar. Uh, you know, dusting it down, stuff, and kind of doesn't know what he's doing. Is there anyone else? There, there's like a, there's like a, ten to fifteen patrons. It's like not very full. It's kind of a, it's a mid-sized inn. Like you, there are bigger ones, but also it's like a, it's like a re- re- decently sized inn. Do I see any uh, silver bows? Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, is perception wisdom? Yes. That's a 22. 22. Uh, you do not see any. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the bar, barkeep, I guess. Hello. Hi. Uh, what can I do for you? Looking for a couple of rooms for the night. Uh, how many? Two. Three. 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 There's only two of you. Uh, yeah, yeah, but we have others coming. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Um, well, we've actually got a three for two deal on right now. Yes. Perfect. His <laughs> voice just changed a bunch. <laughs> 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 so he's like, yeah, it'll actually just be. How long are you staying for? I don't know what we do. Uh, how much will it be for two nights? Two nights, two gold. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Alright, I'll put you in the ledger. What's the name? Um. What's your name? Yeah, what is your name? Drake! <laughs> Drake! <laughs> Give me a deception check. <laughs> this is unnecessary! <laughs> no, it's not! Oh! Wow! This is why you oh. always have the player's handbook on hand so you can just make up a fake one. Oh jeez. It's no, it's an not. actual one. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Hang on, let me get my, my book of names. One second. You have loads of Dragonborn friends, right? You could just steal one of their names. Yeah, that's very true. I did not think of that. Uh... Fuck it, I'll go with Morzia. <laughs> <laughs> you say to him, what? fuck it, I'll go with that. <laughs> no. Morzia, that's my name. <laughs> I didn't say the fuck it part, I just said fine, it's Morzia. Morzia. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Good luck to You got something to hide, Morzia, something I should know about? Everyone's got something to hide in this city. <laughs> Is it that kind of city? <laughs> This is a good turn for the good people, Mr. Morzer. I'm not the one here too kindly to you. saying such things. Give us some extra gold. Wow. Uh, just got the tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I just tip him one gold? That's yeah, so what I thought. Yeah, you get the two piece. Like, your rooms are just uh, up the stairs to the left. Good, thank you. Can I start drinking? Okay, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm also going to send him some blue ice and being uh, and tell him we've started drinking. We're at the Red Crest uh, flagon. 
Rurak arrives two minutes later. <laughs> Do the the montage in the city of Rurak running through the you know, <laughs> through the streets over the rooftops. <gasps> Redcrest, Logan. Uh, yeah. So you're, you're like, should we have a yeah, Rurak? We're um, Redcrest, Logan. Can we have two, th- three, please? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Rurak arrives. Uh, I'll there Yeah, you're thing. doing your stuff. Uh, Raffin, you're also in the library. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, does Zorgar have a sending stone? He has a party sending stone, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Like, where where are we staying? Backrest Blanket. Cool. Uh, should have given the name of an And then, you know, like an hour and a half later, Zorgar arrives. It's like, it's really difficult to find the place. It's also a Blanket. Here's your drink. Uh, sure. You doing okay? Yeah, I didn't find you. He's not talking to me, though. He's still talking to you? He's not talking to me. We'll get on soon. It'll be clear, but he's not talking to me. We'll get on it soon. Okay. Okay? Okay. And we still got the letters. What oh, letters? Lexus. The letters we found. What letters did we find? The one on the, the Knight Commander's body. And the one we found off the, the other. The, the Red Rose uh, guy. Oh, those letters. Yes. Yeah. Where are they? We found the, uh, all of my right. shit's tipped out on the floor. Those were the ones from the Hilarious Temple, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I said the letters from the fortress. Yeah, well, you also then just walked off. <laughs> I would have to go to the temple. Does this anyone still have those letters? I don't know what those are. Well, Maybe I do have them. We kind of left you in charge of that. I don't know where the letters are. <laughs> I've been through a lot. Of... What have you been doing? Where have you been? Don't ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't ask. Me- they got a menu. I'm really hungry. Oh, this might be it. Did the halflings? Yeah, we're staying with blood. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think. I don't think it's, it's, don't think it's our fish here. Some of the letters are missing now. <laughs> well, I suppose it's been a few months, isn't it? What have you been doing? You're all fucked again. Why is it? Nah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be delicate with it. I've been in a bag of holding with like body parts and stuff. Right, you're know. doing it wrong. No, 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 no. Got it. Was this also from the. I bet it's going to be rich. I think so, yeah. I don't know, I don't remember. What does it say? Have they got a letter? Have they got a menu? I'm really hungry. Did oh, the halfling guy say his name? Uh. Yeah, his name's Ernest. Are we like at the bar? Uh, I mean, you guys drink at the bar, and you go to a table. 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 Okay. Uh, then no. I'm keeping an eye on the door, watching for people coming in. Yeah, there's lots of people coming in. Okay. Then you can look. Um, matters. Like they're, I mean, they're trickling in. No, not really. Okay, I mean, the occasional one. Like, Every few mm-hmm. minutes, I'm providing the next round of drinks. We sure. ask the barman if he's got any fish. Got any fish? Sounds good. Sure, would like some fish. Yeah, Zorgar is like, he's like, is there anything over there? He's like, he's got a fish. Like, another bounce. Mm. Got any beauty food here? Got what? We another bounce. Ah, yes. Do you have any food? Yeah, we do food, yeah. What, what do you do? You know, the usual stuff, you know, chicken, turkey, ham, pig, uh, salmon, trout, cod, bass. We've got. See, we've got trout, but it's not a good seller, so we don't really. We've not got any. Well, all of it. What? All of it. All of it. All of it. Oh, right, right. All right. That'll be. You don't know how much all of it is. All of it. All of it could be a barrel. He's had like a few drinks at this point. All right, call it, call it five gold then. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just do. Uh, That's a lot of money. Try. In the rims. <laughs> I mean, if. You know, if you're not if you're not gonna sell I've it. I've got a lot of cards, man. No, don't buy all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, as you said, you're not gonna sell it. He's like, like one card, two cards. <laughs> so I say three card, <laughs> three gold is a fair place. Three gold for three cards. You're card, not right. gonna get right. it cooked or anything. You're just getting raw. I mean, I, I, you don't just give me the fish. You gotta cook it. No. What? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Look, mate, I know you're. Yeah, he's a bit dodgy. I know. I know more Zero's game. I know, right. <laughs> more goes away. Zero. Right. Okay. Okay. Say you're charging us three gold for the fish. 
kick it for a one, we'll call it four. Alright, four, okay, yeah, sure. He's getting a fucking great deal. Alright, we're at that table with uh, right, I'll bring over. I'll bring with over. A, what do you say his name was? Morzir. Morzir. <laughs> it's not his real name, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah. What's your name? Me. Hi. <laughs> Dwarf. Dwarf. <laughs> I woke up. Dwarf? <laughs> This right. is not laying low! <laughs> I was just, just taking my bump to the head. I mm-hmm. think so. My man figure wise. <laughs> wise and drunk. I'm saying he's drunk right now. Right. Uh, yeah, so about 15 to 20 minutes later, he comes back over and he's like, you're kinda, he kind of semi forcefully puts down three plates. Uh, there you go. I see. Three of it's anything, it's nah, fair enough. enough. So, Adar, there's your dinner. He's already like, Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, right, we're reading the letters then. Can you find the letters? Yeah. He's just talking about when he's got Dali. Shut up, where are they going? <laughs> that's the best That's the best fish in the sea. Now, you ever have that weird taste in your mouth? You know, like, just. <laughs> I might be coming down with it, I don't know. It's mm. a pound that he can't come down with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's the pee. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> that makes sense. He just says how they're breaking into the fortress, uh, rebuild their order. It, he heard them mention an archbishop, perhaps their leader. Yeah, you listen. I'm listening. Alright. Does someone else want to read it? Nope. I will when I'm back. I don't think I'm back, yep. So, where's the others? Yeah, I don't know. It's all trash. You can't wrap the letters in this thing. Where's the other one? You those letters. The other one? Oh yeah, I forgot about the other one. Yeah, you can. Find the shield, yeah. Oh, that's what I thought, and I gave it to you, and then you said... Quite salty. This fish is a bit dry. I think he's spouting it. It doesn't taste right. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Cats in the fish. So it's the type of man who the man pays and it's for someone's fish and then it's fish. Seems like he's got other things in his mind. Eh. Let's not get into murder hobo mode. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. the, there's a bishop here. Mm-hmm. An archbishop, perhaps. It does say archbishop. Bishop. Yeah. Bishop. That. Levee. Right here. Does it say what? Oh, no. Nope. Alright. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something about disintegration and stuff. Oh, we don't want to get disintegrated. <laughs> no, that's not Bruce. I, I'm looking he's around. Very strange. Really, I think he's completely on brand. <laughs> RP. <R-T-T-T-T. laughs> Is anyone in the, in the room looking at us? more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, weird, isn't it? It's, they're not like, not really no one to like, you, you know, there's not like a, you know, like a weird table with people like standing there. Like, uh, okay. This guy's got good grammar. I don't know. I don't know. Where's Linda? Is she around? Nope. Uh, How long will I be until I'm done? Uh... Like an error from there. Why do I have these letters? Yeah, why do you get them? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Where you guys been up to? Uh, you know, when found uh, what's his face from who we met on the boat, Celestial Fella. Mm. Who did what? Who did? Oh, well, we went to a shop. Oh. Is that. 
He burns He's the, the guy who has the flag in there like, like, to drink forever. Oh, fuck, I forgot about that. Damn it. I could have bought that and won it every drinking game we had in the future. Yeah. Right, I thought... He, he wasn't there. It was oh, just right. a shop. He had to oh, okay. deal with oh. his interns. Who served you? Uh, Grant. Grant? Yeah. Where is it? It's a weird name for an L3. Grant? He's not quite an Althorian, but uh, it's up next to the blacksmiths. I think I would. Well, Okay, have fun with that. We will. Well, wait, we have things to do. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, can, we, can we go though? I won't go in that shop and be perfect in all three minutes. Yeah, well. <laughs> That's true. What are you, what are you doing, Zoga? I can't wait. They left the bones in the fish. Oh, I see. Dragonborn eat bones. Apparently not Zoga. And he's just, just kind of absentmindedly sitting there. Uh, almost as if he's not really, you know, 100% in the space. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we yeah. just wait around for a minute. Yeah, and then Lydia and Trash will return. Mm -hmm. What time of day is it? It's about 9 o'clock now. Okay. Hello! Hello! Um, How was your likely trip? Good, I, I learned a spell, which means I can turn people on fire. Another one. Another one. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> you can turn people on fire. Yep. I thought you could always set people on fire. I can turn people on fire. You can do it better than that. <laughs> you can do it better now. Cool. Immolation. Immolate? That sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also found out that this lady, mm. um, I, I, I talked to one of her students, and her students was like, there's nothing wrong with her, she's amazing, she's really friendly and likes jokes. Well, of course they say that. Hang on. Why? Ignore him. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks, you're on them. Yeah. Letters. Yeah, these are the letters so I was on about before you walked off the fucking bathroom. Mine's when we went to Valarius' temple. It's not my fault you don't remember them. Was I was spaced out for that. Oh, yeah, you were a bit out of it then. And I was also the wizard. I, I, did you write that down in a physical book? See, so you, you did, did, uh, did like you write that down like physically, or is this? Do you have like a? a yeah, I have, in a, the... I have a notebook that I draw in and stuff. That. That. Uh, that's that's pretty pretty similar, similar, isn't it? Both have bees. It's one layer off in a different order. Okay. You're damn right. It's like we found how the two common letters. Might just be common letters. Most letters are pretty common. I think that's four. Okay. So. It's not IB. <laughs> Or I mean, um, Bishop Ev. But she also told me in a very hushed hush voice that she may have some kind of secret society. That's like a so. Bishop Club. Okay, can I like um, insight or percep perception to see if there's anybody listening in to our conversation? Yeah, sure, go for it. Oh yeah, well, I don't want to be yelling at me. What is this perception? Uh, yeah, it would be a... 19. 19. Um... The kind of the general chatter in the tavern has died down a little bit. That might just be, a, you know, mm. yes, a coincidence. I would. I feel sure. Probably, probably shut up. <laughs> Either way, if there is some kind of secret society or whatever, and it's to do more with wizards than anything, I want to know about it. <laughs> I want to join. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what they're doing. I want to know what's happening. Sign up to the newsletter. You're already part of this team. I don't want to join. I want to know what's happening. You can't leave. Because then... I'll have to set things in for... Wait, what? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry, she's not leaving. She's not for leaving. Her. All right. um, Let's go make, oh, maybe retire to the wounds now. Mm -hmm. Go for some sleep. <laughs> How many rooms we got? Three. There's seven of us. There's nine of us. God, bunking up. The guy sleeping right here. <laughs> I've been sleeping on the floor. 
Uh, yeah, what is your guys' plan? Yeah, just for three, three, three to a bed. Three to a bed. Spend the night? Yeah. yeah. Alright, sure. Dream team. Yeah. There's, there's like double beds and stuff, and you guys have bedrolls and things. Yeah, so it's a guy from the home, so Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're all scaly. Yeah, like, I can't cuddle you guys. We should have been drive, yes! <laughs> no, well, well, I think the Dragonborn should share with different people because they'd have no bits. So you wouldn't have to do that, like pillows down the middle of the bed or anything like that. There'd be no danger. <laughs> you are the pillow. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, Scaling that's it. You could be in the middle. Uh, yeah, old dragon board. Really. Ten <laughs> yeah. How many beds is it in the room? Two. Uh, it's like it's one double bed. Are we not or rocking like like fifty thousand gold or something? Like, and we're, we're sharing beds. Yeah, we can't we can't advertise that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're blending in. People might run. Used to it now. Fair enough. <laughs> There's nine of us. Yeah. Nine. Okay. I'm gonna cast alarm on the door for the bed. Sure. In case okay. anyone breaks in. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. So, uh, uh, entertain me in that way. Oh. Oh boy. No oh, pantry. Whoa. <gasps> I'm All right. Say, so. I don't, know if I'm <laughs> I don't know. We should discuss. I like to think everyone does. Oh. <laughs> should discuss the plan for tomorrow. I think we should. I want to hit that shop at some point. We'll hit it after. Yeah, we, well, they might know stuff that... Do you... I know they asked, yeah. What did he say? He just said she's a nice lady. He doesn't really... I thought it was safe to have any name. Well, yeah, I could have one as well. Okay, then. <laughs> Is that first priority, though, or we'll go there afterwards? Um, well, they have the whole day. Yeah, we early. I'm just going to go in the city, but more likely she is going by work here. She has a yeah, but she doesn't know, she don't know why we're here. The people I haven't the... said to anyone that we're investigating her. I just said that she was an invocation wizard, and I'm an invocation wizard, and I can learn from her. The people at the church knew me. So, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty much accepted that I also gave that know who lady that I was answer. talking to a fake name. I said my name was Bree, not Libba. Mm. I am Dwarf. I thought I took inspiration from the uh, Drake you know, as many, a fake dream. Ca- growing up, how many, <laughs> how many dwarves have you met growing up? Hundreds. Mm-hmm. All with different names. Mm-hmm. And you come up with Dwarf. I was just thinking... That's pretty stupid. <laughs> Is that spelt the same as Dwarf? <laughs> no. It's, what, it's so, with the two dots. It's okay. Is there a Dwarf? single dragonborn now that's ever met called Drake? No, 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 no. Absolutely no. not. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'll go. We'll wake up. Grab a little makeup. Yeah. Yeah. And then we'll go to the shops. Mm-hmm. Real quick, quick mm-hmm. stop. Not half an hour stop. Yeah. And then I don't know where we, we should go. Hmm? Well, what if we? I don't know. What if we take longer? I think we should. I think we should build in some more time. For a longer stop, you know. For what? I don't know. Stuff happens. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Do you want to have a chat? Are you alright? I'm fine. Okay. You seem pretty. No, out I'm of, tired. Out, I'm out of character. Tired. Look, it's, I don't know. It's like, I woke up this morning. I, just, I feel like a bit sore. You know, I'm not really myself. I don't know why. Not to this, are you? Huh? Well, not possessed by the DM. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I think I know if I was possessed. Well, that's what you always think. When have I said that before? When have I ever said I was... Uh, I what mean, do you say always as in people in general. Not specifically. No, that's true, that's true, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, let's pop into the shop. Alright, um, yeah. it's, next, it's next day. Yeah, can we wake Car-car up rooms. in the morning? And huh? Can I like, carefully look out the window, see if there's any more sketchy out there? Yeah, give me a perception check. The city gone. I'm gonna do a morning pray. Go for it. Seeing as we're in his. Yeah. I saw the farmer's pretty popular around here. Yeah. 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 I like him down People love heat. Mm hmm. That's a 16. Uh, there's a couple of guards kind of milling around outside. They don't really notice anyone particularly weird looking. Is there a roll for my prayer? Uh, yeah, give us a religion check. <gasps> Why am I rolling so shit? 
time you would go and like, okay. look at the litten boys and be like, oh, what should we do today? Yeah. I miss those times. We can do that after. This, this is like very fun. Yeah, if we don't get right out of the city. We've got a lot going on. Oh, there's no arenas there, so anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's one. We could make an arena. <laughs> we could have our own. Let's yeah. <laughs> make an arena. Yeah. Fight club. <laughs> In the bottom of the basement let's of the tavern, let's speak to the dude. A fight club. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, Could we a shop. What? what? <laughs> magic shop. <clears throat> yeah. We're okay. going. We're going. <laughs> I was just because he was saying about you. Yeah. Jordan, there is a fight club. Yeah. No. Well, yes, probably, but we're not going. Last time we went in, no I remember when you said You know, uh, fight clubs <laughs> are generally illegal. So yeah, that's why I'm saying we could find some, you know. Well, you're you're looking for like you know criminal types and stuff. I don't all want right. to find them. I just want to avoid them. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> I find them probably all the fight clubs. Anyway, <laughs> let's go. Aaron Guy Yeah. Yeah. Got your toothbrushes back. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. I mean, we're here tomorrow. Oh, okay, leave your toothbrushes. <laughs> 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 Yeah, okay, so you head off to the grant shop. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Shut <laughs> the door, he's like. Oh, hi, man. Hey, how's it going? You were just here. Yeah. Like five minutes ago. No, uh, no, yesterday. Time moves differently, you told oh, us. Oh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> You've got friends now, how's it going, man? I'm Grant, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. As you can see, I'm an elemental. I'm um, Grant, nice to meet you. As nice you can see, you. I'm an elemental. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that mean he speaks primordial? Yeah, he does, yeah. I'll say hello, primordial. Oh wow, man, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> she puts in effort, man. I do. Well, you should think about that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, do you know my language? Well, no. Well, but I'm not coming into your shop, man, am I? You've got to be there. <laughs> what can I help you guys with today? I heard you have many magic items. Like, yeah, man, it's a magic oh, item shop. Yeah. <laughs> so them, yeah. Uh, that's not, that's all I noticed. These tapers are out just now, so I'm kind of manning the, sh- you know. He, he had a very interesting uh, keg, drinking flagon, or... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I've got uh, a few. Yeah. I was, I don't know. I was thinking about that last time I saw him. Do you want one? Do you, do you, do you mean like a tankard, man? Tankard, that's the one. A tankard of sobriety? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's the only tankard we've got, man. Hey! Uh, do you know how it works? Uh, no, go on, explain. Uh, basically, you know, uh, you pour your alcohol in here, and then there's a magical process happens within. I don't really know the specifics, I'm not a wizard man. Uh, I'm just an element. <laughs> just, you know, this is my first shift, you know, because it's sort of like a, a training area, you know, for the whole thing. Yeah, you know, I'm going to move up to Meriden soon, go work with Tim. Um, <laughs> who's Tim? Who's Tim? Oh, he runs Meriden, man. <laughs> he's a good guy. He, next time you're in, you should see him. Right. He looks a bit like you guys, but he's got like tentacles and things. Tentacles and things? Yeah, he's nice. Is like, he um, a no I don't know, man, you guys all look the same to me. Except he's got tentacles. I don't really on like that. On his asking. face or on his body? Your face is part of your body, man. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all connected, man. Oh, like what? the universe inside you. Okay. Has he got a uh, bluish tinted skin? I don't remember. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm pe- yeah, man, I'm pretty blazed on how <laughs> magic at all times. Is, uh, what's his boss name? Boss's name? Oh, Daibu, yeah. Yeah, is he cool if you've been blazed all the time? Oh, it's a natural thing that happens. You know, Tim is pretty blazed as well. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, but thank you. Thanks for reminding me, sorry. So, yeah, so you, like, you, so you, oh, oh, cool, there's a bottle here. So, yeah, you pour your alcohol in there. And then a magical process happens within, and it's like just drinking water. All the alcohol goes away. What's so the you point get... in that? Yeah, no, makes sense. You can win drinking competitions. It's, it's, it's yeah. pretty Cheap. niche, man. It's pretty yeah. niche. Yeah. It's also so you can fit in at parties without getting drunk. <laughs> oh. Very useful. Very That's useful. That's kind of sneaky, actually. Oh, does it like it? It's not like it turns it to water. It no, 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 still no, looks it's, like it's, it. Oh yeah. You, don't you get... could put wine. Also, I mean, it's solid, so you can't see inside. And... Well, it's got an opening in it. Yeah, but that's where you drink from, man. Yeah. Have you used a cup before? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they look like in your dimension, man. But yeah, so I just, you know... Sorry I'm able to see the liquids I'm drinking. 
But I can see them too. It's just that, you know, I don't go, hey, look, man, look, I've got nothing in this. <laughs> that would be weird. That would be, that would be considered unusual. Where I'm from. But like, yeah, I'll get some white too. So you can get some wine. Oh, uh, for this thing, I don't know. Is, is it, this is what we would... Have you, are you familiar with the magic item rarity yes, gradings? Yes, yes. Oh, you, yeah, of course, you're a wizard, didn't you? So, yeah, well, this is what we call a common magic item, so I'd take about 500 gold for this. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> Sam, I thought you was a, like a, a, a dead certain, Sam. So, no? Maybe an add on at the end. Oh, sure, okay. Do you have any items that would be good for a wizard? Got the hat, man. Well, that helps you cast all sorts of mad cantrips, man. As if you knew them already. Is there specific cantrips? Oh, it's ones you don't know, but it, you, well, you put the hat on, and then you can, you know, could you, I don't know, how many cantrips do you know, man? Four. Four? How many cantrips could you know? How many is on your wizard list, man? Do you know, are, we, are you aware of the wizard list? Yeah. Because there's like some spells that you can't cast as a wizard. You know, like the, the god stuff. We don't really deal with the god stuff, man. No. He knows all about this. We talked about so his trying Have cast... you thought about selling it yet? No, uh, I'm missing spells. Uh, still thinking about it. How's that pot working out for you, man? I haven't tried it yet. Oh, yeah, I suppose you I, um, I, I, do, I do have some special okay. seeds, actually, that I'm thinking of. Oh, right, yeah, what are you thinking of? From the Underdark. Oh, yeah, man. Help try and grow them. Special mushroom. You're in races. So, yeah, that'd be like it. so not only would you have a friend you could talk to, but it would be an alien friend that you could talk to. That'd be pretty cool, man. That'd be that pretty gnarly. Really cool. If I'm successful, I'll bring right, it back, okay. enjoy. Oh yeah, man, that'd be lovely. Can I speak primordial? Because I can Is summon you? elementals and all that. Uh, you, mm, no. Right. Uh, like, you can summon elementals, man. Yeah. It's not very nice to them. I've done, I, I have, I've never done it, but I'm always nice to the animals or something. Oh, that's good, that's okay. You know, because sometimes, you know, I've been summoned before, before I met David, and it was, it was a whole, it's a whole pain in the neck, man. Because, you know, you're like, because, you, you know, sometimes they summon you like, hey, can you clean up my garden? And that's fine, you know. <laughs> and then other times, like, hey, can you go fight this dragon for me? And I'm like, man, I've got my whole, I've got my own thing going on, man. I don't really want to go fight the dragon. Sorry, what was your question, man? So, the hat lets me cast cantrips. Yeah. From the non-wizard? Have... <coughs> no, it's from the wizard. Uh, hang on, let me check the book. Oh, the book's in the background. Hang on, never mind. Uh, I'm pretty sure, I don't remember, I have to go check the book. Okay. But, the, you know, it's like, it's, it's in, because I've got the, the, you know, I've got Debu's guide here, and it has some of the magic items in it. But then there's this other guy, who's done another guide. He's like a business rival. But he has some, you know, he's done some of the work for Debu. So I can check what the, you know, that, that the, the hat is in that book, so I can check what that does. Okay. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's like the other spells, because you don't know all the spells on your wizard list, man. No. No. And, you know, you're unlikely to get very many more, because it's really hard to learn, you know? Yeah. So basically what happened is you put this hat on, and any of the other cantrips on your spell list, as a wizard, you know, the ones that you can cast, you can try and cast them as if you did know them. I don't have them prepared or anything. No, 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 man. How much would it cost? Uh, again, this is another common magic item. It's like a, it's like a blue hat with stars on it. A like classic wizard hat, <laughs> like Rimmerans. Uh, like, well, again, this is another common magic item. I mean, yeah, it's got a bit of a tear here. So I'd say about 400 gold. Mm -hmm. I kind of want it, though. Go I'm assuming it. you have to attune to it. Uh, I don't remember, man. Let me check, I've got, uh, hang on, I have, uh, see, I've got this, like, slate thing here, man, because, you know, because I'm an earth elemental. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you why I'm called Grant, by the way, man? I have, I told the other guys, but, I, you know. Really, so, basically, right. because I'm an earth element, I'll tell you anyways. So, because I'm an <laughs> earth elemental, I was like, I can't be giving up my real name, as, you know, you know this as a wizard, because if you t tell someone your real name, and you're from another plane, or you cast spells, then, you know, bad things can happen, you know, if they're not responsible about such information. Uh, so I was like, well, what, you know, if I'm working as a shopkeeper, I can't be giving out my true name all the time, or that's going to cause a lot of bother. Uh, hang on, I'm just trying to find it. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I was like, well, what kind of stone is there? Granite, that's a nice stone. Uh, and then I was like, Grant, that's a that's a regular person's name. That's going to help people relate to me. That's what I'm going to go with. So that's why I'm called Grant. Cool. That's interesting. It is, man, yeah. You What's so your name, pretty. man? Hmm? What's your name? Nice beard. Thank you. I'm don't cut it. I don't don't cut it. Buy haircuts, man. Why not? Because, well, see, you might not know this, but I'm trying to grow my own hair. 
Alright. Yeah, because obviously I don't have any. Even no, though. not yet. Uh, yeah, exactly, not yet. Uh, so, there's yeah. some magic items that can help with that, I think. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you got. Helmet of Rogaine. <laughs> what your, what's your bear? Your bearness item? Makes you make sure. It just makes me barrier. I don't, yeah. I don't know if it would make you, your, your beard grow. really grew out when, when that. I, I don't know if it would work. Uh, a lot of them have to, you know, it has to be like if you can already grow them. And oh. obviously, as you may have intuited by my rocky exterior, I cannot. How yeah. would you feel about I could I could make some moss happen that would look like hair? Oh, moss, man. How long is it permanent? I think so. Well, see, because the thing is, right, so this is what I was saying to the other guys yesterday, it's like hair is like your aerials, kind of, you know, trap signals from the cosmos and pops them directly into your brain. So I was like, I should grow my own hair because I think it might bring enlightenment. And obviously enlightenment is something I would rather like. If I... But I don't grew, know if moss is moss some, aerials. I, I, I assume so, but, uh, I don't know. but here's what might work. Is if we grow some moss in the pot. Oh, awakened moss, that might do it, man, yeah. I, I will grow you some awakened moss. I'm oh going man, to do that would that. be great. <laughs> I, I, I would really appreciate that. Uh, well, I'm going to get to work on that. Okay, great man. Looking forward to seeing the end result. I don't know how long it takes in the pot. Oh yeah, man, it does require achievement. Okay. You've got to be a, a wizard as well, which you obviously is. Yeah. Also, the other thing you did, uh, you can use the hat to cast your spells. So he's like, see, look, I'll try it, right? And he shoots like a fireball into the sea. Whoa, man! Oh, okay. Whew. See, that was pretty cool. Came out the hat, man. Mm. Like I don't know, like a blue will clash. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could probably. I mean, what cantrips do you know, man? Do you know Preston thingy? Preston. Mm, I know dancing lights, fireball, frostbite, and minor illusion. I oh, say, so, well, you see, if you put this hat on, then you'd be able to, you know, attempt to press the D, D, press the thingy. And then maybe you can make it a different colour. It's a strong point. It's a strong point. I really want to hang. Here, just buy it. And if you don't wear it, then it's fine. It can be a Halloween costume. <laughs> Is that on a Trident been discounted yet? No, man. It's been five minutes where I'm from. Oh, right. I yeah. see. Um, I, I have to get rid of one of my items, though, and they're all pretty useful. Right. Yeah, man, you look pretty decked out, man. Whilst she's thinking. How'd you get that hammer, man? Um, that chap that, see, he came, see, you might have to start coming in in like toes or something because all the magic trips the senses like crazy, man. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Damn near gave me a heart attack. It was. I don't it... really have much of a heart, so, you know, it's kind of a different thing. Hi. Anyways, where'd you get your hammer, man? <laughs> it was a javelin of lightning, and, a, and then I also had a warhammer, and then my god combined oh, the two. Oh, god stuff, yeah. No, yeah, we'll god go stuff. Near it. Okay. He doesn't like god stuff. Oh. It's just, you know, when you get, see, right, so, here's the thing, is when, you know, like this one, there's a hat on. This was made by a wizard, mm. and, you know, that wizard's probably dead now, so he's not got a vested interest in keeping his thing around, or who it ends up with. Whereas a god, they're sort of eternal, so, you know, if, 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 if a, you know, if a chain devil walks in here and says, oh, hey, can I buy that god's hammer, then the god might get all angry with us for selling it to him. Oh, so I it's see. you know it's another interested party. I was wondering if you had any items that you thought would suit me in your collection. Uh, well, I mean, Is I don't know, man. Um, I'm into I like electricity, magic. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I like your your streaks. Did you do them? Oh, uh, that was another god thing. Oh yeah, you're a god man, aren't you? That's it. Mm. Yep. Okay. Hang on, let me check out David's guide. See what we've got. All right. Baby's good. See, he's got a lot of nonsense in here. I do healing a lot. I do healing a lot. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice, man. That's good of you. Keep everyone alive. You know. <laughs> so, noble cause. I enjoy blacksmithing. Blacksmithing? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, also a noble cause, man. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you do much stuff with bows? Nope. Oh. What about bags? Do you do a bunch of stuff with bags? Sure. Well, I've got this bag. It's, it's linked to the mouth of a gigantic extra dimensional creature. So you can put stuff in it and it eats it. Is that interesting? No. I won't go reaching in though. No, I'm not. No. Okay, you've got one. I've got this box. 
Do you like fish? How no. do you feel about fish? No. no. Okay, fish. not the box. No. Does anyone else like fish? Sorry, I like fish. Hi, man. <laughs> I've got this box, and if you put it on your head, it looks like you are underwater. It's pretty like it. <laughs> <laughs> he must be pretty blessed on the ambient magic. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's have a look. So, um. <clears throat> I mean, what sort of magic items are you looking for, man? Because um, obviously you've got that hammer. Yep. So that's kind of, you kind of covered for hammering things. Um, and you've got shields. Shields? Uh, yeah, I've got shields in here somewhere. Let me find the shield section. They'll be under S, probably. Yeah. For shield. Shields, let's see. Oh, it's a big book, man. <laughs> what was that noise? One of those. Good frames to take it. Oh, no. <laughs> probably yeah. Skip frames? Yeah. Well, I've got, I've got this shield, man. Alright. It's just, it's like a regular shield, but it blocks things more better. Like, you know, if a regular shield kind of is like two points, then this is like three points. Right? I was wondering if I could have, a, if you had any shields that would free up my arms so I could use. Oh, you want, um, like an animated shield, man? Oh, yeah? Oh, maybe I'm going to say back in A. Oh, man. This is a big book. Yeah, sorry, man. <laughs> yeah, it's alright. Fan works kind of differently in here, so you might be okay. Oh, uh, yeah, see, uh, we, we have an animated show, but it's... See, remember I was talking about that magic item rarity thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, this is a very rare item. Very rare. Very rare. We've only got the one. So that would be like... We'd probably be like 15,000 gold or something for that. That's many gold. Yeah, that's nearly an airship. I think I can do that. That's fair, man. Alright, I'll take the other shield then. That's the plus one shield. That'll yeah. be about 8,000 gold. <laughs> Will you? Just leave it. Yeah, you don't need it. Well, keep in mind that you have it here. Aye, okay. And, uh... Yeah, man, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your business. I might come back to that hat at some point, but right now okay. I think my stuff is. I think we're done browsing. Yeah. Good. So Anything let's... else? Because you know, I know things about stuff. Do we, do we need potions to you know, stuff apart? Do, do you want to just have a chat? Anything? I'm really, the other guy doesn't talk that much. Do you know that much about uh, that wizard? Oh yeah. Bit? No, I mean, I I, like I was saying, man, I'm not really allowed to leave the shop. Have you Does heard she come in here? No. No, she doesn't come in. Okay. But then not many people do because, you know, we've got a lot of screening filters in place. So, you know, if you don't have enough money for the stock, then you can't come in. Oh, so oh. we were allowed to come in because we have enough money. Well, it's part of the process, man. Also, you know, there's Keep a the general... See, you might fit into a cosmic alignment. And then only some cosmic alignments are allowed in as well. Cosmic alignments? Yeah, well, you know how there's planes of law and planes of chaos. And then there's where the gods live, and there's where all the, the fiends and stuff live. So it's like, you know, law and chaos and good and evil. What, what, what alignments do you have to be? Oh, most of them. That's fine. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. cool. <laughs> um, uh, do you know of any shops that wizards would frequent nearby? What well, shops? I mean, obviously this shop, because yeah. we sell scrolls and things. Um, there's also, I mean, there's the fine ink shop just down the road, I think. Oh, it was last time I was out there, but that might have been like a hundred years ago, I don't know. Um, Fair yeah, I mean, like I said, man, I'm not allowed to leave the shop. Okay. Um, sorry, I'll keep looking through this book. Was actually anyone still interested in seeing anything from it? No. No? Okay, I'll just put just it down then. I don't need to read it. Oh, no, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> that was going to kill me, man. <laughs> I think we should head on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, catch okay, you later. See you later. Catch you in a few minutes. Hi, right, okay, man. <laughs> Let's have a look for a wizardy type shop to ask cool. questions in. Go ahead, lead the charge. Um, when we went underground before into the sewers, was that a bishop related encounter or was that. So, a question mm. for you, man. I don't think uh, it was. That people were getting sick. No, that was a different city and the other different party. Different sewer. Different sewer. Yeah. I don't think it was related because we had to do that for something else. 
it wasn't uh, the bishop was doing this, so you have to go and do it. It was a uh, our yeah. priest guides would kidnap. Can you go deal with these cultists? Yeah, that's it. That's what it was. So I don't think it was, but it could have been. I'm just wondering, did we kill whoever made the portal? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Killed most of them. I haven't killed all of them. Okay. okay, we didn't kill the guy trying to come through the portals. No. Uh, I'm gonna try and find that. Ink's shop or a wizardy shop. Yeah. Sure. Go to the survival check over there. You did. Okay. Oh man. Dang it. That dice You're is proficient not in it though, aren't you? Yeah, I don't want to help much. Uh, Does anyone want to assist me? I'll help with my wizardy. I'll be like, that's an ink shop. Fifteen. That's a plus two, right? Yeah. So it's ten. Ten. Really? Yeah, I mean, she's a wizard, so she, like, the shop says, you know, it's like, ermine clothes, fine inks. And you're like, I don't know, inks. Uh, yeah. We're gonna lose that. Let's go in. Okay, yeah. so you head in. Uh, there's a little gnome guy behind the counter. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, Welcome to Ermine Glow's fine inks. I was wondering if I could ask you a couple questions. About the Inks? local, maybe later, because I yeah, am mostly, partial. I mostly deal with inks, you see. Um, I can answer lots of questions about inks. Any, I'm sure you could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't be much of an ink shop proprietor if I could, but I. Exactly. Yeah. Um, does does the local court wizard frequent? Well, someone shop? said, "Hey, in chat." Oh, Heim, Heim, Heim said, "Hey, in chat." Hello, Heim. Hello. Hello. Uh, sorry. Sorry about this one. Does the local court wizard frequent? Yeah, she comes in every now and then because you know she needs her spells and spells and things like that. Because I think she teaches a few classes, so um, uh, you know she's always having to you know write up manuscripts and yeah. textbooks and things yeah. like that. Well, she's yeah. an invocation wizard. I'm an invocation wizard, oh, and yes. I've just been you know I, I, I wanted to just have a little bit more information on her before I. Ask her for any guidance or any advice, advice, if you will. Yes, well, um, um, you know, she is a, she is obviously the court wizard, and she teaches. She does some private tutoring at the keep, as far as I understand, and she also teaches some other classes in the city. And I mean, to be honest, she doesn't really speak that much about her. You know, get goings on when she comes in. Uh, she likes red inks, purple inks, blue, inks, most inks really. Doesn't really like green inks. Uh, she usually spells a bit of suit, but that's probably because, like you said, she's an education wizard. Um, I don't think I'm really trying to let my brain feel. Um, I'm sorry. I've, I've heard rumours of a. Oh, yes, rumours. About, about her, and I was wondering if you could. Do you hear a lot of those kind of rumors? Or well, you know, sometimes the regulars do like chatting about things like that, but I don't really, you know, I try not to partake in rumors. It depends what the rumor is. Sometimes I do like. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> I well I heard Keeps the mind from busy. one of her students that yeah. she may operate some form of. Secret society, oh, really? or <laughs> perhaps. <laughs> but I don't know if this is true, and I'm trying to figure out if well, she does do this. correlate with what eight other people have told me. Oh, uh, yes, I must take it. Do you have any extra information about? Um. This, I, I don't want to get entirely involved with in certain shady business, so I'd like to know all that I can about this. Um. Like maybe where these uh, meetings take place? <laughs> yeah. So we can avoid them. Yeah, we know we'll go into that area. Oh, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, maybe, but do, you know, do, do you want to buy any ink? Sure, I'll buy inks. <laughs> We'd love some inks. Yes, I've got great inks. Um, got this ink, it's green. It's made of 
This one. Um, I will. Hmm. Here is a spell that I want to learn that is going to cost 100 gold pieces. Right, okay. So I guess I will. And that's 100 gold pieces worth of ink, right? So it's. Mm. But I can say, oh, you're in the right place for it. Yeah. <laughs> How much is a bottle of ink? About a hundred gold pieces. Yeah, mm-hmm. just one for a hundred gold pieces. But I know, like, <laughs> if that's yeah, accurate. Yeah, like, like, he'll sell you, like, a hundred gold pieces worth of ink. Okay. Uh, um, this one, the spell. Of course, if you were interested in other inks, perhaps those inks might come with, you know, labels and things. Okay. Label mm-hmm. have information about the kinks. You don't know. Is there anyone else in the shop? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, we don't have to be cryptic here. How, how much? 200 gold pieces worth of inks. <laughs> Is anyone going to object if I take 200 gold pieces from them? No, I'm going to. Or. Both nice inks and party information. Yeah. yeah. What kind of ink is it first of all? Because I want to get a good. Well, I mean, he's like, what color of inks do you like? Mm. You look like a purple, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm trying to think because for this spell, it's storm sphere, so I feel like I should get blue ink. Gray. <laughs> Gray, perhaps. Gray. Yeah. Gray's boring. Yeah. Well, that's just your opinion. <laughs> Uh, it's a thing I've got this. Uh, what colour was it? Blue, blue. Or like a blue purple. I've got, I've got this in mint tulips. Uh, it's quite nice. Uh, I've got this one. It's made of sea kelp from the uh, mm-hmm. village in Istra. I think that's oh. where it came from. Um, what, what village in Istra? It's called Tides Meek. Oh! I'm from there! <laughs> that's your ink! That's my ink! It's my ink. I'm well, I'm gonna <laughs> buy it! <laughs> Who was I'll the ink maker? Ink maker? Who made that ink? Well, I'm assuming it was just they got the kelp from the meat and oh. then someone else made it. Yeah, if I made it. Yeah. Oh. Mr. Emmingo. My fault, Emmingo's finding it. I see. Well, I'll well, let it right there. there. Okay. Uh, where is the party funds sheet so that I can write it? Uh, it's in Izzy's folder. Okay, I should. Yeah. Okay. I think we're just doing like a little oh. IOU, IOU 200. <laughs> yeah. I really don't want it to, like, the, the paper is very, like, right. yeah. I'm just gonna Ding. make my one 350. Because I marked it for you. Minus. Not minus. No, 200. 200. Your broadcast is confused. No, apparently. Okay. Minus 200. <laughs> All right, cool. Sorry, guys. So we have inks. What information comes with this ink? Yes. And then he gives you an address. Mm-hmm. It's like you, you feel like he like he like takes the inks and like he's like, do you want a bag for your inks? Uh. Is there a fine pea charm? Yeah, is there sure. a <laughs> charm? No, no, the, the bags of. Okay, I'll take a bag. He, he spends uh, rather more time than you'd expect finding a bag, <laughs> uh, and oh. then when you take the inks out afterwards, there's like you know the label like peels off and there's like. Like, you know, an address written on the back and stuff. Is there any okay. other hint, um, little notes or just... I paid a hundred gold for an address. I paid two hundred gold for an address. I got a like... hundred gold to work with it. No, you got two hundred gold for the thing. You oh. also wrote an address on it. Oh, okay. So I just had to buy it. Well, very good. Okay. Zero gold for information. I got two hundred gold worth of it. There you go. That's a good spell that I can learn. Where, where's the address? Uh, it's in the south side of the sea. Mm. Let's go. Let's go, I guess. Let's take it in and should we go there in small groups and then converge on that spot? I'm going full armor, Jake. All right, you got, yeah, okay. Yeah, this could. So end up when when you when you wear so obviously you can wear the breastplate under your shirt. Mm-hmm. Do you just strap the pauldrons and stuff over the top, or do you like take your shirt off, take your breastplate off, put the shirt back on, put the breastplate back on? So you want to pass for a t-shirt? Yeah, like, like basically, uh, I'm wondering if you're like, yeah, stuff. yeah. Nah, I'd, I'd, I'd put the shirt underneath. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, uh, yeah, 
So I don't know. I don't know what the street names and stuff like that are, are like in the city yet. Uh, so if he gives you the address, and you'll be able to find your way there. I just don't can't tell you what the address is. Let's go. Uh, Try and find it. So. Yeah, so, you, so what is your plan for going there? Yeah, it's, it's nice. Go there in smaller groups and just convert from the spot. Should we send in the sneakers? The singular sneaker. <laughs> we have a we have a ferret. He's pretty sneaky. I can turn into a sneaky thing. We have three like sneakers. Can we get stealth up? Yeah, let's just get it. Just get stealthy. Gek is it. Chink, 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 chink. Oh, but he wants to be stealthy. Um, that's why I can be quiet. How quiet? As quiet as this one? I don't know. No one could be as quiet as this one. Mm-hmm. Didn't, didn't notice she was there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably no. Hmm. Quieter than this one? Quieter than that one, and, mm-hmm. and he points at Zorgar. And that's not hard. That's the probably also person. quieter than than in honor. Yes, yeah, probably. Okay, let's just head down there in different small boat routes. Yeah, let's scout out the location. All right. So are you going? So it's like lunchtime right now. Are you going at lunchtime? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Just yeah. Middle of the day. And then figure out what we're doing. <clears throat> Broad daylight. Know what. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Uh, sure. So you. What were your groups? How many groups are you going in? Uh, there's nine of us, so we're going to three groups of three. Sure. Alright. Uh, Send Traff and Lida. Calls and Lobby. Smalls and. I'll hang out with <laughs> you and Zorgar. You have Caladin and Gek. Gek. There you go. Two. That's the split. Okay, hang on, let me get a note back up. If someone descends on my group, we're fucked. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> well, yeah, it's me, Caladin, and Gek. <laughs> You, you have the strong, you have the strongest like group. Level two. Ch- 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 Niff. <laughs> You've got a spear now. You don't need the niff. Can no, keep the niff in case you lose can, the spear. But cannot use both. Yeah, yeah, you can use both. Mm, then when we're putting. Mm, mm. <laughs> have I been teaching Gek how to fight? <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. Uh, have you picked your stronghold training plan? That seems like no. <laughs> I feel like Big I've all about it. Uh, yeah. What is a stronghold? Well, because he's got troops and he'll have been training them and kind of helping drill them and stuff while on the journey over, he gets a benefit. When, when did you message me about this? Uh, it's on your sheet, man. On your stronghold sheet. Oh, I feel like I remember reading this and being like, oh, I'll decide that later. <laughs> all this. Or is it the actual stronghold sheet? The actual, uh, no, it's the water sheet. Okay. Excuse um, me, one minute. Go ahead. I... Keep stepping on my boots. Come on, get the boots. No idea what we're gonna do when we get there. No fucking clue. We're working on very limited knowledge. Where is it? What spells do you have your character? Oh shit. Alright, what we got? Trying to figure that out right now. Because we're going into a wizard's place. Uh, so, you know. Um, I'm going to need to spell magic. So that's for sure. Or can we spell any? We don't need to spell magic. Do these things apply to all my men or to me? To you. 
To me, to you. So what effect does that have on my men? Nothing. Ah. That's like that's the effect you get from training your men. Versatile training gives me plus one AC when using two weapons. By the way, get that. No, it, it's when you when you use one weapon with two hands. Uh, I don't know. So if you're rolling not with two hands, you get the same AC as if you were wielding two tridents. Yes. So it does basically nothing. Pretty much. Okay. <laughs> Uh, if you lose not, if you lose the first one, you're good. Mm, I would also just be aware she's an indication wizard, so I don't know if she's gonna have some weird item that makes her take less you know, elemental damage or fire damage or anything like that. That's because I'm always wearing heavy armor. Yeah. Duh. I don't know, because we fight a lot of people wearing heavy armor too. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of the bosses. Are they wearing armor? The guy Was the dragon the wearing armor? Okay, maybe not the dragon. <laughs> but the, the first I fought in Cabal and Keep, he was wearing heavy armor, I assume. Yeah, Yeah, he was, it. yeah. Kicked his ass anyway, but... Uh, I'm gonna fuck it, I'll take the heavy armor training. What's that do? Uh, ranged attacks have disadvantage against you while you're wearing heavy armor. Okay, you're probably going to need to remember that. That's cool. That's okay. That's quite powerful. Uh, I am going to write that in my abilities on the yeah. to shoot. There's a good chance a lot of that will get kind of erratic and patched and stuff like that in general. I don't know. Because it's a fresh supplement and stuff. Does that have any effect on the way I train deck or anything? No, he's just like... He's, he's just, you know, he's just trained like a military soldier. Cool. So he's not like rough and tumble, he's like, he's like, he knows like two stances and stuff. Cool. And, you know, how to move his feet right. So is there any, any business you guys have to take care of before you're going there? I don't think so. Okay. Uh -huh. So who is, so what is your, how, how are you doing this, basically? We want to scout out the area okay. first, yeah. so that we know what we're kind of dealing with. So are you like, are you splitting up into three groups to travel there and meeting up nearby and sending someone to scout the address? Or are you all just traveling to the address in three separate groups? Or a, some sort of third option? The, the first one, I guess. Yeah. So we okay. to send upon a place from three separate groups and then Morgan and Ferret. <laughs> scout okay. out. Maybe Gek. I don't know. Sure. I don't know how stealthy Gek is. Not Gek. Gek. <laughs> I can train Gek to be stealthy. Not in this position. Gek is like. Shhh. 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 I need to wear the no. I'm you have... No, you're... you're it's you free. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes. So, I'm I'm with Zorgar. So, so you're, yeah, you're, you're in charge and that's in charge. And then one of you can be in charge. So, you make a survival. Survival? Yeah. Which one of my... My thing's switched off from the DVD build. DVD build. Ten. Right, I'll just roll. I don't do much better. Um. <laughs> I got 10 plus if it's survival. Hey, you say the address and it's like. Can we get the plus 5 or something? 10. 10. Yeah, but I think I've got more. That's for me. Oh. I, I got 12. You got 12? Yes. <laughs> uh, survival, did you see? Yeah. Plus plus 5, so I got 15. 15, okay. So you all split up. And you start heading off like, okay, cool, I know where that bit is saying, and you start heading off that way. And then like, you know, every five or ten minutes you're like, oh, hang on, they're, they're, they're just through that street. <laughs> nope. Hang on, they're just, they're, so basically, you just come at it from like, three different streets. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, but you that make your way there. Mm. Uh, so how, how far away are you meeting up? Like, uh, two blocks away? Sure. 
Okay. What kind of area is this? Is it like an occult system? Uh, it's a, it's more of a, it's more like Edinburgh, London, where it's kind of just, uh, just chaos. A little bit, yeah. Uh, but you kind of, you, you, like, you can see the the building, the address is where you, it's kind of down at the end of a long street, so you kind of hang it in because it's side street where you're like a couple, like a minute or so to walk away, but you can still see what's going on down there. Uh, it's a, it's just like an unassuming warehouse with a red door. It looks like. Red door, you say. Mm. I don't know what to do. We'll go scan it out. Yeah. Send me a ferret. Yeah. Well, I've also been in Malta. Ferret is kind of useless without Malta. Let's go. Do you want Pabu? Sure. Okay. Cool. So, see with familiar, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know how you have telepathy with him? Yeah. Does that mean that he can like talk to you and stuff? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I can look it up. And see. What sounds most fun to you? Uh, <laughs> Talking to Pagri definitely sounds fun. Yeah. Because I don't, I, I, I don't see one version being more OP than the other. So, yeah. so it, it acts independently yeah. of you. Okay. It just obeys your commands. Okay, sure. So, so it could. Yeah, that sounds to me like it's got independent thought, and independent personality. Yeah. Uh, so it could hate you, but it just has to do what you say. Yeah. That would be funny. It's <laughs> So we got three sentient uh, kind of non-party members that assist yeah. the party. We got Patrick's crow dude, got mm-hmm. Nautilus, and got Pabu. Yeah. <laughs> nice. I feel bad for every single time I was like, we could just throw Pabu. <laughs> <laughs> this fine, he'll come back. <laughs> Does Pabu hate the dog? <laughs> uh, no, he just like... I keep Pabu around all the time. Yeah. It's just like like when you're like, hey, go go and scout with more. He's like, you're gonna throw me anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't throw me, come on. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so Mulder and Pabrick went? Yeah. Alright. Uh, so you don't have to let it do anything, that's what I'm No, I don't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So you head up to the door. It's kind of a. It's a, a, a semi busy street. So there's people going back and forth. But you get the impression of the sort of speed the street that wouldn't get much foot traffic at night then. Uh, so give us... I, I assume you're trying to get in there undetected. I was going to scope the outside first. Oh, scope the outside, okay, sure. Uh, Is it like it's attached? No, it's kind of... it's built in. So like, there's like a wall, mm. of kind of... like a terrace, essentially. Would there be like a back entrance? Yeah, there's a kind of alleyway you can get around. There's... It's like a, like a small alleyway, but you can get in there and kind of... Head around the back. Just have a look. Yeah, so it looks like it's a fairly big building. Like a couple of hundred feet long. Uh, and then out the back is kind of its like... It's just sort of an allotment, essentially. It's just like a big kind of like patch of unbuilt anything, like kind of fresh dirt, essentially. Uh, and there's no windows into the building from the outside. There's just the front door. Well... Is there anyone around? Like, there's a couple of folk around, kind of milling around back and forth. There's like a butcher's on the street and stuff, so there's like again people going in here. Um, is there anyone like that looks wizardy going about? Uh, give me a perception check. Mm, nope. I'm rolling so bad. <laughs> no wizards. It's a different question then. From your guys' past experience of being sneaky people, does this seem like a sneaky person location? You're asking me. Are you in Malta? We might have to. Trouble. We might have to stake out this place or something. I just wait around if we see people. Yeah. Can you give me a perception check, Malta? Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh dear. More skip frames. More skip frames. Uh-oh. Which is weird because I've changed absolutely nothing since last week. Just the internet name. Oh, What's yeah. happening? What'd you get now? Eleven. Eleven. We're <laughs> 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 so, rolling so poorly today. Can you roll a perception check for a Pabu? Me? Uh, no, no. What would you get if that was an investigation check, actually? Probably closer to what it should have been. 17. Definitely, okay, that's 
make an investigation check for Dodge as well. Investigation. Okay. Uh, no, it's got to be investigation. Okay. Uh, because investigation is like minus four because intelligence is oh, two. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, are, you, are you saying there's eyes? Yes. Then use your intelligence. Okay. Uh, for investigation. Yeah. Uh, Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. So, yeah, red door. We're in the front uh, and there's like a, like a, a lintel. Uh, and in the top of the lintel there's three marks like that. Three lines. Yeah. Just, does this mean um, anything from the or is this like, what? Take Pabe. Look at him. If yeah, I talk yeah, to Pabe, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. I can well, see like, and hear crazy. It's something. like, well, it's the three because the letter had four IV. Oh. So this would be three. Maybe. Oh, oh that is Bishop Shelley. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> <laughs> We should really sort out a communication system between the two of you. Yeah. One squeak, two squeaks. I can do it later if I need to learn a different spell. Yeah. It's like big and I can't be bothered. It's a lot of So what are you doing? Stay Unless the, the, the address is like three Red Crest Lane or something. No, it's like it's <laughs> like it's like 187 Shipping Avenue or something. It's like quite a high number. It's just like three parallel lines. Yep. They look like they've been carved in. Or like scratched in or something. Like a chisel. Was there any members of the Bishop Brigade that we saw? A halfling or small? Or I could maybe look myself look like them? Uh, I mean, from them? from the people you saw, they were they were of all shapes and sizes. It was just they, they had like the one uniform with the red robes. Okay. The spellcastery types had the insignia. Mm. Is that? It's not something people would just walk around in public in. Huh? No, not really. Mm-hmm. It's like it looks like it looks like cultist ritual guard for everything. So we got to stake out for a minute, or I think we have to. Well, we don't have to, but like just to figure out what's happening and see if the people are in there. Because I feel like it'd be kind of weird if we just. Brandon. If there's any windows, we can like... There's no windows. <laughs> no, like, of things on the street that we can hang out at. Is there an inn close by within mm-hmm. a block or two? Uh, you pass by an inn, but it's not one that would have sight lines. How long does Pavit last? It lasts forever, yeah. I could just... Until it does. Just hang out a little. Like I have roof. to be. I have to be within a certain distance. But... Can all just hang out on the roof. Yeah, is there a rooftop we can yeah, get on top of that no one would really see us on? Uh, well, no one would see us. Oh, you guys can jog. <laughs> yeah, there's there's like so there's kind of so the the door is directly ahead of you, and then to the left is kind of like a crescent, mm. like a not a crescent. Uh, like a big square of houses, and there's like a garden in the middle. Okay. Uh, and they've got like triangular roofs, so you could climb up onto those roofs, and the only people to be able to see you from that side would be the people living in those houses. But it doesn't allow us any like traffic going around there. I have to be within 100 feet of the corner. Uh, do any of the houses look onto that building? Yeah, yeah, they yeah, do. Yeah. If we all just hang out in that tavern whilst these guys stay there and we wait for sending a boy for Lydda to oh, like, range on Pabby. And we'd be us to stay. Yeah. Hundred feet on Pabby. So far away you can go from the tavern. Yeah. He can yeah. still um, go further than that, so it's, it's just I can't one. see for oh, his eyes okay, when, sure. when he is. Maybe. Oh you're talking about a tavern right here. Yeah. yeah. How close is that tavern, Jake? Is it within a hundred feet? No, it's like a couple minutes walk away. Okay. Oh. I, I say we either go sit on that rooftop or we kindly ask one of the people in the house if we can yeah. come in. Hang out. Yeah. Rooftop? Is there any public spaces here? Uh, public, hang on, sorry. Can I clear this? No, never mind. Uh, public spaces, uh, 
Let me see. Parks. There's the there's the gardens of that kind of group of houses. There was a park recently nearby, but it's kind of it's all kind of built up civilian areas, mm. and it's sort of it's kind of it's sort of like a it's a semi slum. Do any of or, the houses look like there's no one in them? Um, I mean, there's houses that have no lights on them, so. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, what were we doing? I don't know. And this alleyway, can everyone just see us in the alleyway? Uh, I mean, it's quite a small alleyway. Uh, so there's only people that were walking up the alleyway that would really kind of see you guys. There's plenty of, like, kind of wee alcoves and stuff too. If I... So, I could maybe... Uh, I can maybe just do stone shape and carve a hole in this fucking wall. Yeah, people can see a big hole in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah let's just sit in this alley. Like, I could grow a big like, plant and go for a little... Yeah. What's that? So just sit in the alley. So if anybody comes round, and then they just see nine people sitting in an alley. Yeah, and if she, we're assuming she's part of the bishop's whole company, so she's going to know what we're Is there a sewer grate nearby? <laughs> What's wrong with us two yeah, sitting out and you guys going to drink? Yes, yeah, it's absurd. Yeah, Slater's body will just be sitting in an alleyway by herself. We yeah. could go on a riff. Okay. And she wouldn't, I'd be there as well. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Marilyn refuses to go back into the sewers. Okay, that's fair. That's right. fair. Everyone else is going to the nearby inn, and me and Marvin are going to go and sit on I don't know how I'm getting up there, but figure out. <laughs> Even if you just stay low, you just throw a blind on me. Sure, but I'm also blind and deaf when I'm in that. Yeah, you've got blind, nobody will see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, roof tile colored. No, I probably will come from over there. Can we uh, scout out this tavern before we go in? Is it a shifty tavern? Yeah, are there any syndicate looking folk in there? <laughs> no, give me a perception check. Are any bishop worshipping looking fuckers about here? Any of us is in I don't look at the bishop looking folk. Yeah, like, or cult. Can we put it in the same kind of category looking for syndicate slash culty yeah, bishop? Yeah, just looking for a cult. People will give you a hard thing. Yeah. Uh, did you give I rolled a 14. Uh, I'm like proficient. That's around the cell, so that's the warehouse at the far end. This uh, is the area so you guys came up in. Plus two for There's sort of garden area, area. you could climb up in the roofs there. Uh, yeah, and then the tavern is went back down, like here. Uh, and the street runs like with. 20. 20? No, it looks alright. I mean, it's full of like shifty looking folks ish. Uh, but none of them are like. None of them look like they recognize you or anything as you walk into that vehicle. Uh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just hang out right here. It's called the dog's head. Dog's oh. head. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we just, um, you know, drinks to fit in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like one round lasts for a long time. Keep an eye on the door. Yeah, it's a door. Front comes out most of the People come in and out. There you go. Uh, no, no one of note comes in and out, really. Keeping the look for anyone who looks kind of sympathy or bishopy coming in and out. Alright. Uh, and Malbrun and Lydda are not hanging out in the tavern, they're hanging out here by. Yes. On the roofs. Okay. How long are you guys waiting for? For a month or something that happens. Yeah. Alright. What are we waiting for? Anything. For people to enter, for people to leave. Something. And we're, we're super sneaky as well on the roof. Yeah. So about five o'clock, six o'clock, kind of as the sun is going down, uh, there you see the door opens uh, and someone comes out and closes the door behind them and locks it and goes down. Shoot. What do they look like? Uh, there's nothing regular person. Female. Male. In reasonably nice clothes, nicer clothes than you'd expect for this sort of bit of time. Like, you've got like a frilly kind of shirt and stuff like that. He's a pirate. Did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> um, nice questions. Keep that from me, you might have to kill him afterwards. Oh. You know, tell people that. Not necessarily. Yeah. 
one guy standing next to him in the group. Someone just left the thing, but we don't know who he is. So, time to move? Okay. <laughs> okay. Are we going again? Up. Let's go. So, so where are you going, this. Jake? Where are we? Uh, so, w- which pair of roofs did you guys play on? He um, went off in that direction. Garden one, I guess. Yeah. Okay, the one just across the road. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're, I take it you're on the north side of that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. What was, sorry, what was the initial question? Where are we? Where are you? You guys are like down here. Oh, shit. Hey, let's uh, stop moving. Yeah, so we start I'm coming. I'm gonna send Papu to trail this guy. How we're walking. And we stay, like, closer. Sure, okay. Behind. And I'll get uh, him to, like, tell me where he's going. Yeah, okay. So he's like, he turns up and like, okay. And just tear up the street, kind of. Oh. Uh, so are you keeping him within 100 feet or yes so you're also telling him but from like 100 feet away yeah okay uh, yeah he's heading west it looks like he's heading into just a sort of residential neighborhood and then goes over a bridge okay are, are these guys come yeah you guys are like do you see where he's going or do you want to just go into this building what should we do I don't know. I don't know if we should Open question this guy. I mean, I don't even know what we're doing, to be fair. Good question. I don't know what the goal is. To investigate this uh, court wizard because uh, Lydia was cast with it from the other wizards because she's doing mysterious stuff and mm-hmm. now we think she might be the bishop or involved with the bishop. That's why I think we should just so we ask to... this guy questions. Yeah, we should. Interrogate or investigate or whatever. Rather than just breaking into someone's house. Well, it's not a house, it's a warehouse, right? Not yeah, but it's not breaking in. It's got a house in the middle. It's only a house when it's uh, filming. <laughs> that is a great concept. <laughs> <laughs> it's going in the last minute. It's up to you guys. Do you want to follow him and then see where he goes and like, ask him questions or do you want to break in here? Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, just as he's gone home, he just goes over a bridge. And his two stops off at Baker's. Once again. Just a couple of more threads. I'm going to cast Alter okay. Sound for myself. Okay. And make myself look like one of the shorter bishop people I've seen, but not in the red robes, because that's too. Sure, okay. The same kind of frilly shit that he's wearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, I have a deal robber's necklace, and I have a bishop's, bishop's signet ring, but I don't know if that's all of them have that, or if it's... What does the signet ring look like? Uh, it's just a, just a small ring with a kind of robber's symbol on it, and I think it says... I think it has three dashes on the inside. Is he wearing it? Oh, is, oh, is oh. he wearing one? Oh. Uh, is, he, is the, the guy you're trailing? Yeah. Uh, you are too far away to tell. Has Papu got close enough to see? Uh, how, how close is Papu Kino? Quite really close? I don't know if we... No, with his eyesight... Well, his eyesight's not good at anything. Uh, give, I'm not, give me a I'm perception not to, like, know where he's going. Like, if you turn a corner, yeah. you would be able to, like... Perception. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the most close. We'll just say... Layer. Yeah. 18. 18. Uh, it doesn't look like he's wearing a Okay. I'll just make myself look like just a different half way. Okay, could sure. Be me- some magic or something. Sure. That's okay. not myself. Yeah. Why is he going after the bakers? Uh, he's just heading off and towards more of a residential district. Uh, like it stops being shops and stuff like that. It's just houses. Uh, and then he kind of sort of kills off I'm like up a smaller street and towards. Can I run? <laughs> Like mid run jog after sure, him, okay. like like that kind like, of awkward jog where you're yeah. like, like a bit when you're halfway across the street and the light changes. <laughs> should we see? Like, should we see where he's going first? We can do that afterwards. I'm not revealing who I am or anything. Yeah. I'm gonna go up. You guys stay. Don't get scared. <laughs> he's like he's like I'm getting gonna, his keys. I'm gonna like hey hello, ha uh, uh hello. Howdy. <laughs> Howdy! Howdy. <laughs> hey, um, I, uh, excuse me, yeah. I am a wizard, <laughs> and uh, I may have- I'm a lawyer. 
Um, I got given an address to go to that I may have seen you exiting and I'm very new to all this and I don't know. No. Red door. <laughs> he kind of looks at you and he's like, Uh, I, I'm the student of, uh, what's her name? Ivana. I don't know if I, maybe I got the wrong address. No, you have the right address. Come inside. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. He opens the door. Did, did any of us see the building she went into? Wait, can I insight check him and see if he's, like, got some ulterior motives here? Like, yeah, sure, go Does for he it. sound threatening? <laughs> Damn it, dude. Worst roll I could roll. Roll up different dice. That's a He's very friendly. Three. Very real real nice guy, actually. You know, like most people won't most people won't give you the time of day. And then, you know, this guy, he's here and right into his house. Seems like a lovely chap. Do we see the I'm house they're going to? Uh if you have to kinda of jog a bit. You you mm-hmm. could, but you'd have to kinda of yeah. stop being I'll get kind of regular wait outside the house so Sure. Okay. Or um, uh, is it, will, will it uh, take long? I've got to get to class later. Oh no, it won't take long. Okay. It's just, you know, you don't want to talk about such things outside. Uh, yeah, sorry. I've uh, been reckless. Go for it. Uh, sorry if I die, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he leads you inside and he's like, would you, would you, do you want a, a drink? <laughs> uh, yeah. He gives you a drink. Yeah, yeah please. Uh, he's like, so um, how, how did you meet I mean, Um, I was a student mm-hmm. in her class and first year I took her introduction to evocation and I, mm, evocation yeah. is my specialty now. Oh yes, following in our footsteps I see, that's, that's very nice. Uh, so I'm sorry, how did you, you, you said you were aware of the club, shall we call it? Mm-hmm. Who, who gave you the information? Um. <laughs> it was your girl in the. I didn't get her name. You could say the, the grand lady herself. Can't got your tongue. <laughs> her endorse. Well, you see, I, I mainly heard this through a rumor that I. that, um. like. <laughs> Collected from what was his name? <laughs> um, do you know oh, Mr. Irvinkler? No. <laughs> You're selling him out. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> oh, the egg seller. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I didn't realize he was giving that information out. It's not very wise of him. No. Mm. <laughs> Enjoying your wine? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen you drink any. Uh, well, I'm not really. I don't really partake in alcohol most of the time. Oh, I, I can get you something else. Do you want some juice? Oh, we've got freshly squeezed orange juice. Yeah, I'll take orange juice. Those away. <laughs> you come back a few moments later. We'll get that of orange juice. Uh, did Ermanglo give you the? I suppose he wouldn't. So. What exactly do you want from this? From mem- obviously, membership of the club is a very exclusive and yes. demanding I... affair. I would like anything I can get. Hmm. Are you drinking your orange juice? Yeah. Can you give me a constitution? <laughs> uh, Bastard. 
Where are we? How did you not see that coming? Well, listen. <laughs> uh, you're just outside. Why I wanted to make it at least slightly believable. Are you going to spy in through the window since you're the one who can get like a 30 in stealth? Yes. <laughs> Go, give me a stealth check. Does this require moving silently? Uh, yeah. not I really, to be honest. You know, there's no one else around. A nine. A Good nine. nine. God damn it. Wait, I'm just taking a small sip. Small sip. Okay, you feel a little dizzy. Interesting orange juice you um, mm, yes. provide. <laughs> yes, it's a very rare strain. Mm-hmm. Takes a bit of getting used to. You should drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're taking it surprisingly well. I didn't think we'd have this long, to be honest. Um... What? Well, you know that is. Um, uh, uh, is that head visibly I'm going to cast invisibility and run. <laughs> okay. Uh, How close is it, won't you? Uh, sure, okay, so uh, give us a stealth check. In fact, give us an athletics check. Oh, fuck. Oh, minus one. Here we go. Eleven. Uh, yeah, so you're, you're in like the living room, the front door's here, and you like, and you vanish, <laughs> and you start running, and then you hear like the, the door, and everyone outside the door can hear the door click as well, uh, and the door is like... Everyone outside, meaning us? Well, whoever, like Mulber notices, like, that's a pretty clicking noise. You hear pitter patter of halfling footsteps. Um, I'm shaking the door <laughs> <laughs> What? Dang it. Oh. <laughs> Can I go to the window? Oh, I mean, oh boy! I, I really want to kick it down if people would let let us know there's something wrong. Help! Okay, <laughs> do we know now? Uh, yeah, I need an initiative check from everybody. That oh, is a door. 19. A 19 for Woo! Yeah. I drank the Kool-Aid! <laughs> I really thought it was going to be the complete opposite result. Woo. Jake, that'd be a two for Rex. Well, I was like, I, I was like, either Jake's playing this up because it's not going to be a thing, he's going to be suspicious of me if I don't drink. Or I drink and I get poisoned, but I was just like, fuck it. <laughs> uh, right now, what did you get? Not 14. wise. 14. Robert, what did you get? 22. 22. Wait, are we in the same hex as my ship? No. Fuck. <laughs> uh, Crafty, what did you get? Initiative. Oh, initiative. Oh, I don't roll initiative, sorry. Uh, oh god, that's not good. Well, I've rolled terrible tonight. We all have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I also can't see that, but I think oh, it's five. Yeah. Yeah, this was nice. the first roll I did well. I went with 19 facing up and put it on the table. Yeah, five plus mm-hmm. my with 19 bonus. 19 facing up and then put it on the table. Just two. Seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, fuck. Tiny bit. Oh, Jesus. And your dice quit. My old head. I don't actually know how much of a difference it makes. It yeah, feels like the sort of thing that would make a difference, but I think if you roll it properly, that'd probably be fine. Mm. I also want to keep an eye on this guy in case he's like sending a message to anyone. Sure, okay. Oh. Uh, so. What did you get? A one. Is that a one? It's not a one. Dang it. Oh, we're on the board. I'm sorry, guys. I should have gone there. Hey, so we heard about this club from this ink guy. <laughs> yes. Well, I They're don't totally know. Legit. I was like, we're either going to have to, like, talk to him and kidnap him anyway, so I thought we'd try the nice way. Right, Mulvern, you, it's your turn first. You hear, you hear the door click, and you hear help. a small. <laughs> are, you, are you a man or a woman when you disguise yourself? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you hear a small halfling woman going, help! Like from inside? Yeah. So the door click as in a door lock. Yeah. Okay. Is there a window? Well, I rolled a twenty nine on my stealth. Yeah. Twenty nine. You're pretty well hidden. Where am I? <laughs> uh, I, I we're, we're, we're so like, well hidden. Like, so is this like? like over <laughs> uh, uh, is this like row of houses? Yeah, it's like a terrace of houses, and, and there's like steps leading up to the front door, and there's like two windows on either side of the steps, and then there's like the next house. Uh, so there's a window into like a front room, uh, but there is no one inhabiting. 
Uh, and there's the door. And that's about it. Uh, it's one of those, uh, like, knots and crosses style windows with all the wood bracing. Right, yep. So, it's not like there's the big plate glass window. With it, like. Uh. No, it doesn't look like it will. Uh, it, looks, it looks like it's painted shut. Maybe I'll have to like wrench it open. Uh, how long would it take to uh, try and pick the lock on the door? Uh, it's an act, like it depends how good the lock is. Uh, like you, you've been able to pick locks in like a matter of seconds before. Like if it's if it's like a bad lock and you can just use a rake, then you can just sometimes you can just go. Like that and fuck it open. Fuck it, I'll just open the door. Alright, go for it. Give us a few tools check. Hmm. Was that not 20 year old for yourself? Or was that? I was a 17. Right. Uh, yeah, 17. Yeah. Uh, that is a 25. 25, yeah. Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> so it's so a little like runs up to the door and goes. And then, like, like, so, so the door clicks shut, and you run, for, and you start like shaking the knob, and then uh, you hear like, like a ching sound, and then oh. the door like clicks open. Yes. Uh, and then like, I find the door. <laughs> okay. Like, like you go like me. I like just hold onto the door. <laughs> sure. Okay. Or if it goes in the way, then I don't do that. Uh, no, it goes out. Okay. Um. Yeah, and then it's Mr. OJ. Uh, As in. Orange juice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. No, no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> no, true, actually. Uh, you might need more upbeat music, Jake. Might need more upbeat music. Good point. Stop this guy. We're about to put my phone in quite fun. Mm. He has all access to different types of magic, and we don't even know what types. Well, the door's open, but. Bye. Keep his share. Okay, I have kind of spell for at least three times. So. I have uh, a sound magic. magic. Like a big one. Maybe you can do a sound magic. Because you can breathe. Yeah. I'm going to make a puddle first. <laughs> yeah, this seems like it is pretty involved with the bishop shit. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I'm okay with just probably kicking down the door now. <laughs> Doors are very open. <laughs> Well, not the door here, the red door. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Lita, are you going to be running? Like, out the door? Is that your plan? I guess. Okay. I know. Are you invisible? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm passing. Yeah. Does the tech magic track invisible foot? Might. I feel like I think it would do. So no, I don't have to pick magic. Or do I? I do have to pick. Well, fairy fire does. For the duration, you sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of you. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the air that bears magic. And you learn a skill of magic, if any. Visible. Yeah, it says bad visible creature. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, okay, we're doing the cast that spell then. Basically, I, I can kind of counter him a little bit if I'm good enough. Dice rolls. He's gonna cast the spell. I'll counter spell it. Okay. okay. How does counter spell work? You attempt to interrupt a creature in the process of casting a spell. The creature is casting a spell of third level or lower. Its spell fails and has no effect. If it is casting a spell of fourth level or higher, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. Okay, make an ability check using your spellcasting ability. Yeah. 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 This is not very... Odds are left here. Okay. Seven. 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 
17. Yeah, that looks like a 17. 17 okay. plus a bunch. Okay, you hear him curse from behind you. And then my invisibility will drop. Yes. Like nice well. okay. So Morbin is like... Can I tell what spell he was trying to cast? Uh, you could use an action to identify... I'd say I don't know, react to identify? I don't remember how it works. Uh, the reaction is kind of spelling Yeah, kind of spelling is the reaction. Yeah. Next time you could try to do it. Um, spell looking up. Look right now. Yeah, no, you're trying to do it. What are we going to do to this guy that tried to drug me? Fuck him. I can't use spell. He's standing Did he say just add my way to you? Add the orange. Huh? Did he just say, like, here, have some orange juice and you add the orange juice? Yeah. Yeah. He offered me wine and I was like, Nah, and then he went away for a while and offered me orange juice. And I was like, okay, I took a little sip of it. Um, shall we? Where is he? He's like 20 feet behind. He's like, you're like, so there's like the hallway, and he's like, you're standing at the door, and he is like 20 feet behind you, kind of chasing after you, essentially, by that time. Immolation! Alright, what's it? Uh. You started fire in the city. <laughs> Does magic fire set fire to things? Flames no. reef one creature you can see within range. The target makes a dex saving throw. It takes 8d6 fire damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. On a failed save, the target also burns for the spell's duration, which is up to one minute. Um, the, the burning target sheds bright light in a 30 foot radius and dim light for additional 30 feet. Um, at the end of each of its turns, it gets to repeat the saving throw and it takes. Wait. It takes 46 fire damage on field save and the spell ends on a successful one. Alright, what is your DC? My spell save DC is 17. He does not make it safe. Yeah, you need 86. Oh, these people are asking questions. You tried to drug me. Oh, yeah. Melt. I don't take this kindly to that. This is non-lethal fire damage. Oh, need more d6s, let's. Oh, gosh. I'd like to non-lethally stab him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need more? Any, yeah, I need two more. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. I don't have Fox of Dead prepared. <laughs> you know, what? Talk of Dead? There's a Talking of Dead spell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rip it. Six. Oh, God. Is there diamonds on this guy? Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Good lord. Uh, 18, 21, because I rolled four ones. <laughs> yeah, let's get it Yeah. Damage, and he's burning. Yeah, okay. He's burning real a lot. Everyone outside watches as the door. It's like the knobs are shaking. You watch Mulburn goes, and the door fires open, and this like burning man (laughs) falls out the doorway. (laughs) Oh no. Is he dead? He's on fire. I can cancel it when I want to. 21. I'll just say he poisoned me. There's, the evidence is still in my mouth and in the drink. Is he screaming? He, yeah, he's screaming quite loudly. Fuck. You can see people are starting to come to their windows and stuff. Uh, I'm still yelling for help. Okay. Uh, Narrative. Help me. Help. No. <laughs> There's a burning man <laughs> chasing me. Okay. You're charging the burning man. Yes. Okay, go for it. How, how far away am I? Uh, you're... It'll take you... You, you could dash and get to him this round. Uh... Would I be able to dash into him, causing him to be knocked back into the loop? Uh, I don't know, so I'll say yes. Sweet. Jake, how does, a good how does setting fire some magical fire? Uh, does, that does it say it sets other objects on fire? Absolutely not. Then, like, like Lither just points to the guy and he sets on fire. Okay. Yeah, there's no like of fire. If anymore. damage from this spell kills a target, the target is turned to ash. Oh, ash. I can't revive so, Ash. Uh, ash. I can't revive Ash. Not good. <laughs> I'm gonna keep Still an eye on how he licks. We could put the ash on fire. in the pot. He looks like he's going to die though. Okay. Jake, okay. if we put the ash in the pot, can we grow another? Yeah. Right. That's a that's a question for Grant, man. Not come up. Time up. Wait. What am I doing here? Uh, making a fire check. Uh, how far away in feet am I from him? Uh, about fifty feet. I put Nautilus in outside, but I think we want to draw as little attention to this as possible. <laughs> he's, he's a burning man screaming 
And we just had a, a small woman next to me. 23. Yeah, you need to open nine. the door. You're so, fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know how powerful yeah, like, you were. You can cast higher than three level spells. Huh? You want to like knock them over? Uh, yeah, I want to knock them from but into the house. Sure. The okay. Yeah. So yeah. So so from Linda's perspective, she turns around, counter spells a guy, sets him on fire. He runs past her, falls out the door, and then gets like like he goes like boing, <laughs> <laughs> and it gets barged back into the house. Okay. Uh, Would I be able to kind of like? I'm not going to close the door yet. Someone get in and close the door. Alright, I'll be alright. Uh, it's not my turn. So, Raph and you go. Right. Uh, you're standing with Rick, about <laughs> oh, 50 feet away from the house. <laughs> a burning man just fell out of the house and then got knocked back in when Naren trolled the barred him. Uh, and Lydia is screaming for help. I think that's our cue. I think I that's mean, our I'll cue. I think, I, think, I, think, I, I think it's bear power. Are you sure? Oh no. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. I just need to knock him Other than face, that, other than. Oh, I suppose, yeah. No, maybe not a bear. But. Do you, like, want... do you have the thing that, like, wraps vines? Yeah. I do have. Yeah, but it's. it's. Hold on, let me check my spell. Oh, see, this has been doing to me all night. Every time I go to the thing, the DVD, the audio shuts down. Well, then I'm just going to remember it. No, well. Because I've, I can't get it to say it, because a lot of times playing later when we're not on the stream. But um, I think I just need the URL again. Okay. But just do that. Maybe go to the on my Right. Okay. Um, yes, because my spells are all on there. Um, arse. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just thinking. Normally I would just change in a bear and summon some things and we'd have a fight, but there's only one of them. He might be quite powerful. Um, and there may be more. But a bear could do it. We can probably hold off for now. Hold off for the bear. I think. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to. I, I cause a lot of tension, so. I'm trying to uh, undo that. <laughs> Sorry! Yeah, yeah, I'm just awesome. trying to think if. if there, I'm trying to see if the, the spell would do it. Oh, do you know what? I'm looking at the wrong end. I could just do it this. Um. <laughs> Should we more move in then? Yeah. yeah. Because like fifty feet the is what's our my movement range? Thirty. 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 Oh, we'll just head towards it. Yeah. Yeah. Sprint into the house. You can sprint in, or you can move your thirty feet and cast a spell. But he's inside the house. You can't see. Yeah. 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 I've got entangled. Yeah, but I can't. I need yeah. to see him. I think. Yeah. Just can you go in? The house yeah, I could. Yeah, let's. I'll just dash towards the house. Okay. I'm ready to count, do entangle, I think. Sure, it? okay. So you're running in. Yeah, I'm just going to get entangle prepped. Okay. Go on to your soul of the deeds. Sure, okay. Uh, we're at, where are you doing? I'm 50 feet away. I sprint my movement and a dash. Okay. Do you just get into your clothing? Am I like literally just in the door? Yeah, you're just in the door, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, it's... Melbourne seems somewhat vacant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just uh, kind of shove this dude down as fast as possible. Yep. And we're straining. Yeah, you sure you can't cast racket. spells? Can I attain a burning man since you know I'm a red dragon? Can I drop board? the burning? Yeah, yeah. I'll drop the burning. Yeah. Uh, since it's really good, it's not going to drop the burning away. It's more than this. Yeah, we just need to make sure you can't cast spells. Uh, so you can't speak or move his arms? That's it, yeah. One or the other, usually. Wait to uh, target. So. Mulgren, it's your turn. You are holding onto a door. He's no longer burning. He, he, he came out, he was on fire, he got knocked back in. Now he's not on fire. Okay, Everyone else is just at a, you know, on the porch. Can I see into the house? To yes, the door's open. So I can see him? Yeah. Like, um, but I, if I move my, my move, can I cast a spell? In? No, because you need to move more than... So he's 50 feet away and you can only move 30 feet? Yeah, but as long as I can see him. Yeah, but it takes an action. Oh, right. I, I thought I could move and 30 feet. You can, feet but you have to use your action to get your bonus movement in order to close with the uh, In order to get door. close enough to see him. Oh, uh, got you. Okay. But I'm not in, I'm just... No, you're not in part Okay, that's fine. Right. So I'm... I'll untangle the head speed. With, with the door? Yeah, speed. Yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the other side of the door. Okay. <laughs> so are you pulling everything? Like, so are you just shutting everyone out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. 
close the blinds. <laughs> uh, are you, so hang on. So He's on the inside of the house. Yeah. He was straight on. Are you also on the inside of the house? Yes. Okay. Who else is on the inside of the house? I uh, maybe got inside. Uh, you were like, you're at the inside. Door I'm inside because I'm inside. whacked him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I feel like Mob would probably push me in as well. on the way. Wasn't yeah. I just like Because you were the only one that was. Because you dashed yeah. in. Yeah. So that means everyone pretty much is in. Yeah, we'll just say everyone's inside the house. Okay. Yeah. Close the door behind uh, He is not on fire anymore. Yeah, it's his turn. It is his turn. Oh. He is prone. He is prone. Prone to what? He's just on the floor. Yeah. Stand <laughs> up. Uh, <laughs> Whatever he does. He, he's gonna cast Ready, a spell. Get it all! I'm gonna cast a spell. Okay. So it works if I'm it's third level or not, and I have uh, to roll. Give me a check, please. 19. Yeah, no, yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. He's like, he wait, wait, some arcane. I'm like, no! <laughs> uh, and he stands up and that's his whole turn. He's just completely surrounded. No one yeah. drugs yeah. lit a stone word. Is this still combat? Come out? Uh, technically, yeah. Okay, uh, still trying to escape. Yeah. Or attack. I mean, what is your guys' plan? Uh, time up. Like, yeah. and the time up. Mm-hmm. Uh, who's gonna do the time up? Who's turn is it? Matt will do the time up. Yeah, alright. Uh, well, is it Hulk time in your turn, Lita? I could damage him. Is it a railway try? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> um. You're quite beefy, you could dangle him from the roof. I could hold a person <laughs> and have a Batman and be like... I'll... I'll... Firebolt him. Can I firebolt him? Sure. Are we gonna tie him up? How do, you to, do you want me to... Or you guys have to tie him up? Like, he's, like he's, oh, he's got oh, a visible burn mark on him and stuff. You just need to... If I... If, does it look like 2d10's worth of damage may... Kill him? It may? If... Oh. Difficult. <laughs> <I> should, <laughs> can we zone the truth him? Can, yeah. I, can I do a weaker can cast fireball on with 1d10? Non-lethal fireball. Because I might... You could probably do 1d10, but if 1d10 kills him, then he's dead. Okay. He's dead. Could you cast sleeping? No. I haven't. Damn it. Zorgar is. Zorgar. Zorgar's not on her. He's, uh... Yeah. Zorgar and Mira are just like... Let's see Honestly, you could just punch him. I mean, that would do... not do anything. I think we should start yeah, cutting off, like, him. one finger at a time mm-hmm. until he tells us what oh. he needs to do. I'll do a frost point on him, that's one of six. Okay. Yeah, but I think that should okay. fail. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not sure we have. Well, he's chaotic well, evil, isn't he? It's different for each quest. Like, 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 it seems like, to be, because he's playing like stupid now today. So, uh, so I'm going to get evil. Uh, <laughs> he gets a 90. Cut off his finger okay. until he talks. Uh, you like a uh, swamp thing, you only care about the green. That's it. Yeah. No matter what could you be tonight, you could be the well, you could be interested in that. So. Right, okay. It does nothing. Oh. I did nothing. There you go. Just <laughs> yeah, yeah. You used the spell slot. Yep. No, I didn't. It's cancelled. Like, oh. It is now your turn, yeah. Uh, I will mean, just. If his arms. If he's tied up, can still cast spells. Uh, some spells only require a verbal component. Mm. It's more likely. You need to use your mouth than your hands. Yeah. So if you cover his mouth, cut his tongue, like what happened to the thing? Yeah. Like we're just kind of basically on. But don't cut his tongue. Just cover his mouth. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Can I. Can you pop your sock? <laughs> his mouth. <laughs> Do I have like a, a. something to stuff in his mouth, like a piece of fabric or. Get pulls a thing out of his. Yeah, like you, a yeah. random bit of fabric. <laughs> nice. It's uh, a soiled loincloth. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Do it. Do Soiled? Like soiled. 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 Oh. Uh, yeah. Neither way. Neither one sounds particularly pleasant. I'm going to try and restrain him and shove that in his mouth. <laughs> sure. Okay, we're gonna have to. Uh, give me you a, love give to me pick up the Gex soiled loincloth. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, uh, that's in the guy's mouth. Uh, athletic check, please. God, oh, fuck's sake. He's lucky. Yeah. I could shillelagh. Yeah, I do. Uh, that is a plus. Uh, shillelagh! Uh, 23. 23. Uh, he physically cannot be. Uh, yeah, you, you 
shove a blank one. Okay. Uh, no. So you're in this man's house. You have him restrained. Okay. What do you guys want to do? I quickly search the house and then leave with the man because there was a lot of screaming. Yeah, let's leave. Someone's got to call the authorities. What are we doing with the man with the loincloth in his mouth? We've got to take him somewhere to ask him questions. Put him in the back of holding. Really casual. Not the back door. Put him in the back of holding. No. <laughs> I can't do anything. We've got to search the house quickly. I will search the house. Sure. Okay, give us an investigation. Are you, what are you searching for, if anything, in particular? Anything and everything. All right, go for That'll it. help him. Anything veshipy, anything cool. All right. Money. Anything I'd like. Okay. Like money. <laughs> I'm it. searching for just a. Is this guy wealthy? <laughs> uh, he's well dressed. Oh, he was well dressed. His clothes are kind of burnt now. Uh, yeah, I know that's which a six. Way that's kind of. Well, you can shoot the board if you want. Yeah, and it's a six. Uh, <laughs> 16. 16. Uh, so it's quite a big house. Uh, so it's going to take you probably 10, 15 minutes to kind of give it a once over. Uh, I'll, I'll do that. You, okay. you guys leave, obviously. I might, uh, someone keep an eye on the windows, I guess. So I'll stay until, like, think... little, like, you should be on the road. I'm gonna leave right now. I'm, I'm, gonna, no, I'm, I'm gonna go Everything and all right. explain. Oh wait, so there's yeah, a random Yeah, everything person. is fine. There was a wee fire in the kitchen. Guy caught fire a bit, but it's all been sorted. Hey, persuasion check. Oh my god. Why? We could have just explained that he was an asshole. Well, I you. Okay. Oh. Persuasion, you say? Yeah. That's a 16. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Alright. <laughs> okay, we're good. We can spend time. Is anyone okay? Is anyone hurt? Uh, we, we burn on his arm, but it's nothing we can't fix. It's all good. It's okay. Fine. My fully I'm covered on the dude so he can't can make he's any noise. He's got noise. a soiled thing in his mouth. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, yeah, uh, Malbrin, upstairs in the bedroom, you find like there is like a, a set of red robes in the wardrobe, as well as some other nice clothes, you know. I must have. Look at that, it's not built. For the shirts and stuff. Uh, Can I look for a. Bishop's Introductory Guide. Uh, yeah, get me an Bishop's Handbook. Can you tie it? Can you look for his address yeah. book? Tie up his hands and everything. Just flight through to B for Bishop. That's a good old and little six. From six. And you do not find any hands in fact with anything no related to the Bishop's Guide to whatever. Oh, yeah. Alright, I've got time up. Actually, there's one book. Uh, Bishop John's Guide to Cheeses. Bishop John. Hey guys, I found the book. Lad. I'm going to go Is it like you open it, it's got a cat outfit with like a <laughs> thing in it. It's just, just, you know. I'll back okay. the yeah. cheese book. Yeah, just talking about cheese. Pack up his room. Yep, alright. Uh, he's just like... Okay, so now, is he tied up? Uh, yeah. Okay, right, right, I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to kindly like, explain to him. He tries to cast a spell when we take this rag out of his mouth. I will counterspell it, and then, and then his head's getting throat. chopped off. <laughs> or that. Or that. I'm gonna go with the stabbing through the throat because I have tridents. <laughs> that know, one. <laughs> I'm holding it right up to his throat, and I'm going to remove. <laughs> also, no screaming for help. Same thing will happen. Give me an intimidation check. Intimidation. I can add something. No, I can't. I've got plus two to intimidation. <laughs> I'm very intimidating. What, what did you get? Does my lucky recharge only after long rest, or is it short rest? When did you use lucky before? I've used two of them today. Oh. I get three a day, so I could use my last one. What, what did you roll? Roll four. Plus what? Plus five. Zorgar's <laughs> the, the intimidating guy. Yeah. So Did he get advantage because he's got a fucking trident up to his throat and like... And the DC's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll kill you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, mister! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's like... Oh, okay. What? What's your name? Oh wait, you want me to do my thing? 
If you want it. <laughs> what thing? It's not a truth! Oh, uh, that thing. Yeah, okay. Here we go. Is his name John? Did he write the book? <laughs> Is this your book? <laughs> 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 what do you know? Is this you? <laughs> of cheddar. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's, what's your name? Abdul. What, what was that say? Abdul. 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 Right. Let me write this shit down. Make your, make your save throw against me, Jake. Oh, sorry. What's the DC? Um, 17. Oh, it's higher than 5. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to, I'm not rolling that dice anymore. He's been, he's been cramped today. Um, okay. Okay, Abdul. What can you tell me about Ivina? Yeah. Also, why did you drug me? <laughs> what was that? It's just a small set of things. For a small person. <laughs> small set. Why am I writing that down? Okay. Well, right, Avina. What she running in the? She's the Baron's court wizard. Yeah. What's she doing as part of your organization? She is part of your organization, correct? What is the organization? Well, I know. I had to push the trident out of <laughs> I can't answer if you don't let me breathe. And then attract that tiny bit. So, so are you restraining him? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm like poised to counterspell if okay. he tries anything. Uh, what was the question? <laughs> uh, it was... No. What, what's she running? What's the... she be running? Yeah. No. <laughs> what is her position, essentially? <laughs> or what's she planning to be? One of those. She's a lieutenant. Lieutenant for the bishops. Is she a bishop? Not in the church sense. Yeah, yeah so. we, we gathered that. I don't know how you spell lieutenant. Monopoly is a guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Your best answer, answer swiftly from now on. Lieutenant. Left Left Running out of time here. Lieutenant. And a bishop. So she is one of the bishops then, of the many. You sure? Is she perhaps number three? No. no. That's just basically saying yeah, this is the bishop of the The bishop. Awesome. Tell us everything you know about this organization. What would you like to know? Everything. <laughs> um, what, what, what's, what's your primary goal now that the tyrant has been arisen? I'm, I, I'm not... I don't... I'm not a high up. I don't really... Okay. You don't know so, the biggest goal of your organization. As a person that's part of this organization and organization and doesn't know what the hell they're doing, why are you a part of it? I'm a little of the fire. I can mm. see that. Yeah. With uh, nine people standing in your living room right. with a trident to your throat. That was pretty clear. <laughs> 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 we all have choice. There's a there's a sense you don't hear very often. Um, <laughs> Is that a warehouse your base of operations? Here, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Well, what's the what's the emptiest hour? When are we likely to get in without other people? During the day. Yeah. <laughs> And um, how often does what's her name? Ivina. Ivina. When when does she show up? Most evenings, it depends. What are they actually doing in there? We're between tasks at the moment. List them. We were to recover the shield, but that's been done now. Where is the shield? With the Archbishop, I don't know anything more. Where do you know where he is? I know you just said you don't know who is the Archbishop. I've never met him. Do you, does he reside in Redcrest? I don't think so. Do you know any major operations where the what group is this called? Like, 
Yeah, what's the name of this group? What's the name of the bishop? Like the, 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 the Red Order. The Red, Red Order. Order. Right. So, That's good to know. That makes sense. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the day the red. Order. <laughs> red. Is there any other? Do they operate out of every city, or is there major places that? I, don't, they op- I know they operate out of the big one. Archbishop. You are listing the tasks you are in between. What are the rest? That was our first goal. The first goal was to recover the shield. What's the next? After that? We don't know yet. We have to wait in orders. You recovered the shield months ago. Yeah. Okay. You haven't done anything since then. We've what? been waiting. What is your job within the. Who, who is your job, mate? Right? I'm the. Uh, just what's an IT? Recruiter? Some sorts? You poison your recruit? And your potential it's a sensitive thing. Yeah. You took the Kool Aid. So what what was the plan with me then? Well, we would have. You are not a usual sort of recruit, so we would have drugged you and brought you before her, huh? and she would have made you comply. So she has with magic. Or just threats. That's a combination, most likely. Okay. Is there anywhere we can find her alone? Not without wards. Mm. It doesn't. I don't think we necessarily have to actually confront her. Yeah, we should speak to the spire first. Uh, do we need to know anything else? Uh. Why, why are you doing this? Why are you working for these guys? I don't really remember. You don't remember? I don't think he has... Can I see if he's in full control of his... Yeah, go for it. ...himself? Well, what would that be? Insight? Yeah. That's an 18. Uh... Yeah, he seems pretty confident. Okay. Give him a what, what restoration does those kind of things. Greater restoration would maybe do it. it costs after the business. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. Do we have any other questions, or anything? I think we know. If we let we you go, we need evidence of her being to involved. Report this back to her immediately. Oh, oh, she will. Do you have any other uh, anything else you can do? One effect that charmed effect like target one it, yeah. curse, including How? the Well, you're famous. Well, she knows we're in this building right now. I'm not sure. She knew we were in the city, that's fairly clear. Has Can't she been avoiding be... meetings since we've arrived? Hmm? Has she been avoiding meetings since we arrived? No. I don't think this guy's very much. There's no way to be any extra. Extra consciousness of being scried on or anything like that. Sorry, sorry, what? Is there any way for people to like know when they're being scried on and stuff like that and to be more conscious of it? Uh, it give me, give, are you asking him or are you? Yeah. Uh, give me an arcana check. Uh, 21. Uh, yeah, there's like some magic items, like there's amulets and stuff that will let you know people are spying on you and you can like. Like, welcome. Mm-hmm. Where are you getting that? Okay. Um, can you ask me anything else? A bishop? Do you have any bishops there? I do. Um, bishop is supposed to be one of the one of the bishops. How many are there? How many? How many, have, how many bishops are there? There's eight. There's eight, and then one archbishop to take down. Not sure. No. What? I, I'm haunted by one of them. They, they attacked my son, took his sight. That's unfortunate. They smile. No, he's just not looking at you. <laughs> they smile. Mm. What kind of tone of voice? It was a sort of a, a snarky tone of I voice. I punch him in the face. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, the one we killed, I suppose you know about that. Is he still alive? Did we not kill him? I'm not sure. They keep 
information very insulated. Do you have any? Is there is there any? Can we see his any... body real quick for magical items? Yeah. Okay. Are there any books or letters or pieces of information about your organization that we can take here? No. There's none here. Where can we, where, where can we find some? In the warehouse, I would presume. Okay, I'm gonna quickly spelt the feces covered cloth back in his mouth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna see if he has any magic rings, amulets, anything uh, on him. Give me an investigation check. Okay. Nine, investigation, 18. 18. Uh, he's got like generally nice rings on him. There's nothing that looks magical uh, that you see in his, one of his uh, rotor pockets. I guess so. He's got like a pocket. Uh, and there's a like crystal in there, it's about 38 big. Spent right now, though. I don't know, there's one in there somewhere. Uh, just like, you know, it's about this big. Uh, and it's just going, it's like, clink, 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 clink. Uh, oh, and no. we'll probably pick it up next week. Oh, no. Probably gonna crush that crystal. Okay. Is there an insignia for the red? Whatever Robert is. Yeah. yeah. There's that one. Does he have one? Uh, not on him, no. Okay. And I am immediately also going to be casting sending to be like to the the main person that tasked me with this oh, sure, inspire yeah. and be like <clears throat> working for the red Sorry, the order. bishop for the red Right order. Uh, okay. <laughs> red order. He's got the silicone. Uh, that's way more related to him. Probably, yeah, yeah, probably should, yeah. I don't know why I had them in the first place. Uh, so yeah, uh, we, I, I, I think we're still on next week. We'll be back next week at the usual time, internet. Uh, and yeah, see you all then. Cheers for tuning in. Bye-bye. Bye.